Graphite, archaically referred to as plumbago, is a crystalline form of the element carbon with its atoms arranged in a hexagonal structure. It occurs naturally in this form and is the most stable form of carbon under standard conditions. Under high pressures and temperatures it converts to diamond. Graphite is used in pencils and lubricants. Its high conductivity makes it useful in electrodes. Can you hear me now? Hey, there, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> How are y'all doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, wow. Thanks for showing up. Well. How are you doing? How are you all doing today? <laughs> it's nice to meet you all. I know a couple of you already. I, I mean, I guess I've seen some of you on Twitter for uh, a little while leading up to this. Wow, there's just more people here than I thought there would be. <laughs> um, you had Arby's for lunch? Are you sick right now? <laughs> Did you do that for the occasion? I have to admit, even though I made those jokey Arby's videos, I don't think I've eaten the Arby's in like 15 years. <laughs> what did you get? The only thing I know that Arby's even has is their roast beef sandwich, which uh, always looks a little disturbing in the ads. <laughs> what is the meat mountain? <laughs> is this some kind of promotional Arby's sandwich? Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ew, I actually don't like deli meat at all. <laughs> I think it's disgusting. Uh. <laughs> it's just an Arby's sandwich with every meat they have just slapped on top. That sounds absolutely fucking disgusting. I would never eat that. So it's just bread and meat? I mean, I guess. If you really want to eat that, I'm not going to stop you from eating it. Ah, I've got a small Halloween sippy cup full of rosé wine here to calm my nerves. It tastes really good. I just have to make sure I don't spill wine all over my desk. <laughs> well, um... I don't really have too much planned in the way as of like a, I watched I watched some like a big VTuber debuts because I kind of realized that I didn't know what they were supposed to look like despite like uh, having watched a bunch of VTubers for like months now. No, I don't have a slideshow about my lore. I ran out of time. I I was I spent too much time on that stupid cartoon and uh, <laughs> ended up uh, I I didn't have time to make a PowerPoint or anything. I just have that, uh, hold on, let me grab it. I just have my intro, uh, promo graphic. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. But which one is the right one? I have three versions of it. Why'd you do this? And two of them look exactly the same. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, now where is it? Oh, it's at the bottom? Or... What? I dropped it into... Streamlabs and it's just not there. Oh, uh, mysterious. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess we're not looking at that then. The cartoon was worth it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I started that on Tuesday. Uh, I was listening to that song that I had written and I was like, this is just too fucking like loud and hype to uh, just be playing over a PNG. Like, I just can't do that. <laughs> I was really working like a fucking demon, and I was also working like as cheap and as fast as possible. Here, I can show you the Blender file. I can show you how fucking cheap it was. Like, 
everything was just done as like the the most corner cutting shit possible. <laughs> um, hold up, how do I? We need a, a new window capture. No, no, no. Sorry, I haven't streamed on my PC in like a couple of years, so this is all uh, new business to me. Add source, and we want to capture. I don't know. Wait, I'm selecting the wrong thing. I've got like a cavalcade of uh, windows up here. Yeah. Hey, hey, there we go. Now we got it. Oh, wait, I can turn off the sen photosensitivity warning too. Um, Let's get you transform. Fit the screen. Yeah, there we go. And put you down below this. Now, I'll move off to the side a bit. Maybe off to this side. <laughs> yeah, it felt like a wrestling intro. Like, uh, is what I kept thinking. Oh, thank you. Uh, my Blender skills are pretty rudimentary, and I haven't really been using Blender like actively for a few years now. So, uh, I was really flying blind for a lot of it. I had to look up stuff constantly while I was doing it. <laughs> and also, last night when I was rendering it, when I finally finished it and I was rendering it at like 11 p.m., it kept rendering at like a tiny, it was like rendering at like a low quality JPEG quality and I was like losing my mind trying to figure out what was wrong with it because every render before that, like test renders and stuff, it looked fine. <laughs> and then I got up to the very last second, it was like JPEG mode. Um, but I fixed it. Anyway. Whoa. So... This is the whole project from a zoomed out perspective. You can see the trickery. Why is it zooming around so fast? That ain't supposed to happen. Uh, anyway, so I'll just hit the play button and it'll start to play the animation out and we can sort of like follow the camera around. Whoa, wait, hold on. We don't need to be hearing that music again. Uh, go to video editing and we're gonna turn this shit down. Where's the volume? Yeah, zero. Okay. Anyway, wait, where did it go? Ah, there it goes. So these trees, like there's actually only, oh, whoops. <laughs> there's only one tree and I just like duplicated it and then made a row of them and then like duplicated that and made another row and it's like flipped. And then both of these chunks of the land are just the same thing, like mirrored. Oh, you can see those arms flapping around up there. They're just going hog wild for the entire animation. Um. And so, after that little picture falls in the well, it goes flying up into the sky. Then the camera goes down the well as well, and then teleports over here. Whoops. It's really hard to move around in Blender. Going in there, that little hallway with the lights. The anticipation building. That hand is just chilling. I really love the artifice of like 3D animation, just how... So much of it is just total fakery. Oh yeah, there you can see. Wow, it's really zooming along. Holy shit. I just decided to do everything in one scene. You don't have to do it like this, but it was just like simpler. Uh, anyway, uh, that's enough of that probably. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's pretty annoying. I don't have a three button mouse either, so... Um... Yeah, it's like, I have to do this weird, like, emulate three-button mouse thing. Where you have to use, like, the alt key instead of the middle mouse button. And it's really, it, it doesn't work quite right. <laughs> well. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any any questions or anything for me? Since I can't get uh, my little picture into Streamlabs for some reason. Um, I'm from, I can't even think of like a funny fantasy kingdom name. 
I keep thinking of High Hrothgar. What is that from? That's from a thing, right? Yeah, I don't have any lore. Even though I, I made those, like, Arby's videos, I wonder if people thought that was supposed to be, like, an ARG or something. Oh, no, <laughs> I referenced Skyrim. I don't even like Skyrim. Hold on, it looks like my mic is a little too loud. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Skyrim at all. No, I'm not from Skyrim. Please, don't make up lore on my behalf. <laughs> no. You can't do this to me. <laughs> I'll get you for this. No stunts. Why the high quality beef? I don't know. I just think about this graphic a lot. And actually, beef is like the only, the only kind of uh, meat that I really like eating. I just think about this. This is from Deadly Premonition. Oops. My professionalism shining through here. Yeah, I just think about high quality beef often. You know, like most people. Oh, it's a little low actually? Okay, I'll turn it up just a little bit then. Have I played Clock Tower 3? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know I know the piano solo part that you're talking about. I think it's uh isn't the guy who directed the cutscenes for Clock Tower 3 like the guy who directed uh Battle Royale? That's an interesting game. It's really stressful though. <laughs> I've never actually beat it. I've only played it for a little bit and it stressed me out so much that I had to stop playing. <laughs> well. Uh, sorry if I'm missing messages or anything. I'm really uh, not used to... Uh, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Everything's zooming around. Objects flying around the room. I don't know what to do. Well, I guess we might as well just start playing Clock Tower. Why not? Let's, uh, I'll turn off high quality beef. Yeah, here's just, I need to come up with like a better background. I just ran out of time. I would have, I would have uh, come up with something a little jazzier if, whoops, nope. I had just a little bit more time, but I was just really impatient because uh, all week that I was waiting, I was getting so anxious just from the anticipation. Um, Where's this at? Yeah, yeah. Just from the anticipation of like leading up to um starting streaming. I just had to start today, or I think that my heart would just like pop, you know, like a grape. So let's open up um clock tower. And where's my window capture for this? Game capture? Yeah, there we go. All good. <laughs> Is that a G-Man line? No stunts. Sorry, I don't have a grand intro or anything. I have, there's nothing really to tell about myself. You'll probably just find it out eventually through like me talking about shit. I thought that I changed that to not pause when I go out of the window. Oh, whatever. Oh, here we go. It's a wonderful sound, isn't it? It's kind of intense. Kind of ominous. Piracy warning? Oh, I don't know anything about that. I've never stolen anything in my life. <laughs> this is kind of a spoiler for the end of the, of the first game, if you've never seen that before. It's just, just as a warning. It's a pretty good intro. This is one of my favorite intros in all games. I'm just going to be quiet for the rest of it. Sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. <laughs> the trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Here it is, the Barrow's Mansion. It has it been But we'll never solve the mystery of scissor nest. Got to be joking. Way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> oh! Who will make it? 
get through this game of murder alive? <laughs> Clock Tower. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Who will make it through this game of murder alive? I think about I think about like the entire intro of this game at least once a week. <laughs> my laughing animation is cute. Thank you. I just figured out how to make my eyes smile when I smile just this week. Uh at the last second, really. And yeah, Cerebro Early 3D is really fun. It's part of the reason a lot of the games that I'm gonna play are gonna have a lot of like pre-rendered 3D in them, just because uh I don't know. It has a really mystifying quality to me that um, I don't know. I'm just really drawn to it. It's kind of ugly, but it has a, a mystique to it. <laughs> huh. Well, let's get started. I don't think there's any- yeah, there's not really many options for this game, so... Might as well just get to it. Prologue. Samuel Barton. Barton Fink. Bert and Ernie? Oh, okay, I, get, I see what you're doing there. Professor Barton. Professor Barton. Professor Barton. I'll turn the game up a little bit. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. <laughs> She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. Yes, they are. I must know the truth of what happened. Yeah. It's really important. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. <laughs> All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. <laughs> Real nice guy to work for. Uh, anyway, so, we're with Dr. Samuel Barton, some kind of, like, I don't know, psych psychiatrist or something? So, no real direction on what to do, just, I don't know, click on stuff. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over ten victims in this case. How intriguing. The wait, oh, Jennifer Simpson. Only one of, wow, that went by really fast. I have to get information out of her for future profiling. Materials. Sorry if I can't read those. They go by really fast sometimes. A file cabinet. Patients' records are kept here. What's this? There's a memo stuck between the pages. You found hint number one. So, I haven't- I've only played a little bit of this game. Sort of the first quote-unquote level, you might call it. Um, you get hints if you search certain things. You can't actually look at them. This is all the options that you get um, in the game, but uh, if you go back to the main menu, you can view the hints, and they give you some, some little insightful tips on how to progress in the game. Hmm, there's a faint smell of ammonia. Are the audio levels, like, okay? It's kind of hard to tell. I didn't, again, I didn't have time to do like an audio test or nothing so okay cool a giant pair of scissors on the desk they're a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case these are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims <laughs> the way that it just abruptly stops the evil lighting okay well the last thing is a light switch, which we can't actually do anything with. He just looks at it. Just a light switch. Okay. Why even bother making that observable? <laughs> Alright, thank you. My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Research. Hmm, the staff is still here. The way that the lines scroll out is very awkward. statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. 
Can we check this computer? Nope. Get a good look at Dr. Barton. Oh, nope. He's just going into the background now. Can I check this bookshelf? Who's this? Who are you? Professor. Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> That's his only response. What an asshole. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters. Aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. <laughs> Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. They really like to put one one word on the last line. Uh, yes. Yes, you're right. Been the original Super Famicom Clock Tower incredibly scary because you used to have recurring nightmares as a kid where you were trapped in a 2D plane being stalked by a killer with higher graphic style perspective. That's a pretty intense dream. Jeez. I I would have played that game, but it's uh I don't know. Something about it doesn't grab me. I need 3D graphics for my little rat brain to 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 latch onto. Is that a teddy bear? A stuffed animal. Looks like a prize wanted a fair. We should take it. I want it. Okay, nothing more with that. Wait, can we talk to her again? Seems like people have multiple lines of dialogue. I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother would be okay too. Insightful observations. Okay, that's all she has to say. Right, green cravat or a turtleneck under his dress shirt. Yeah, his uh, his outfit is uh, kind of odd. It's sort of difficult to parse what he might be wearing. Look at his face. Look at her face. So vague. She looks like a dummy. Helen's desk. Okay, nothing else to see there, I guess. There's this weird stretched like JPEG. Scissorman's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops, and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. I think it's cool. Okay, nothing more to see with that. Just figure I might as well check things multiple times. <laughs> Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the Clock Tower murders, isn't it? Humph. Guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't ex even exist. Scissor man. It'd be cool if he were real, I agree. Huh? Er, um, just a joke. Sounds pretty suspicious, Danny. Shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Is there anything else we can do in here? Uh, we can check this computer. Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Okay. Anything else there? Alright. Nothing more. Wish you could advance the text a little faster. Oh, it'd be fun if we could turn off the lights while everyone was in here. They would all react like, why did you do that? It would be cool if Scream was real. John Scream. The Scream movies are so good. At least the first and uh first, third, and fourth are good. I don't like the second one too much. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Um, is Jennifer? She's already gone home. Was there something you Wanted to see her about? Um, no. He's always so gloomy. You're just saying that to his face? He's top-notch, though. That's for sure. But then... Um, okay, so that's the last thing he has to say. <laughs> Seems weird to be, uh... Creeping on the patient that comes into the clinic that you work at. 
What is okay? So like, why does he have like an office with like four computers and all these assistants? When he's like a like a psychologist? Can we? Yep. Oh. It's a little fiddly to like actually stick on the the controls that you want to hit sometimes. All right. So even though there's uh, a big building we can look at. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> There's a big building to look at, but I mean, we'll be here again uh, soon. Not to spoil anything, but so there's nothing really to see. You can't really go anywhere until after this uh, scene. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. He looks like a cameraman. It's a pleasure. Seems like a nice guy. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Oh, okay. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh? Do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes. But what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago and since we'd run into her we asked her for an interview but she refused you just said her testimony lacked credibility i know what you were going to say that monster she was talking about the scissor man and whether he really exists or not <laughs> that's right that's it that is what our readers want to know because the existence of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Cool. They love scissor man. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch. That hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? Wow, he's really like wounded by that. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's it's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. Doesn't that like kind of imply that that doesn't make him into an immortal monster? Oh, I guess that's the part that's in, that's in doubt. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Seems kind of strange to contend this. Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. He's a big, important man. Oh, uh, well, okay. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. Okay. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. He is supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, hey, it's Biggs and Wedge. Sorry I didn't see that until now. They do look like Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> she was in here tonight raving. Yes, she was. Hey, there were those rave lights that came on when we looked at the scissors in the uh in his office. It does feel like the screen movies. It seems like they're trying to set up like uh, a number of the characters already as being like uh potentially the culprit since uh you know as we saw well actually i don't know if that's really qualifies as a spoiler or not i don't want to say anything about the first game are you just standing there like in that awkward little little nook you okay just standing there stock still professor the boy that survived the clock tower Murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes. He's waiting in the therapy room. Is there something I can do for you? Okay, that's the last thing he has to say. I kind of feel like rewatching the Scream movies now. I really like how this game has like got a big slasher flavor to it. There's something I... S 
there's still something I need to do in here. You don't get really like that many games that have like slasher flavor to them. It's unfortunate. What is, what am I supposed to do? All right, Barton, can you, no, no, no. Can you go into the foreground? What am I supposed to do? Do I need to click on the mask or that, that object? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Welcome mid Penrose Squared. But yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. I like Rick, that's a nice name. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris? Yes, no. Uh, I mean, why not? Like, if you're a big important psychi psychiatrist, why would you not, like, delegate that to somebody? All right, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? That's all the information you're giving him? <laughs> Just any man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything? <laughs> yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good, thank you. Yeah, this seems like it's uh, it's a pretty trial and error type of game. Um, the little bit that I played of it before, you basically just like fumble around until Scissor Man doesn't kill you and you like get out of the, the scene that you're in. Who's Rick Owens? No stunts. Oh, look at that kid. Oh my god, look at the graphics on his head. They both look kind of like... You know, I mean, it's... Lo these, like, old graphics are always going to look kind of weird, but, like, this is kind of weird even for the PlayStation. They look, they look disturbing. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Yeah, happens to people every day. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Why didn't you let him choose his name? Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now. I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. <laughs> er, yes. <laughs> well then, let's get started. Okay. Oh. Whoa, look at those background graphics. Cool music, too. Choose save area. Kind of strange phrasing. <laughs> Imagine you survive a mass murder and some lady starts calling you Edward. Well, it just makes me think of Edward Elric, kind of, which is fine. I think I will go out for a while. So suddenly we're Jennifer. She's the survivor of the first game. She's like the main character. That was a cool room. I should have just stopped so we could look at that a little while. Okay, so now we're at this, like, overworld. I think this is supposed to be, like, Oslo, maybe, in Norway? Um, can't remember, though. So we have a number of options. University staff housing, university research building, municipal library, Norway International Hotel, and Oslo Weekly Newspaper Company. So... Yeah, it does kind of have the quality of like uh some of the, some of the Megami Tensei games. <laughs> if I went to the newspaper office, I would just be chased by reporters. Okay. Looks chill. They could use some music at this overworld, I feel like. Oh, that's right. 
Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Oh, I guess we're just going there. Cool. Look at that render. <laughs> Norway International Hotel. Guess it must be loading. Oh, now it's loading. I just needed to like prompt it to continue. <laughs> Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance, Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. That's a really weird name for an orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Okay, is he... Yes, he is Edward. He looks even weirder in this angle. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer. Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. They all look really weird. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. Dot dot dot. I was hoping you would be able to come visit Edward. Please. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. That's a cool couch behind them. Bye bye. Alright, so we just went all the way to that hotel just for that just nothing conversation. Um... You love having a mini map that tells you the internal reasoning for how you don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, that's how I feel. Anytime I think about like, oh, I need to go to get the this like, you know, particular thing at the store. It's like, nah. <laughs> nah. Metropolitan Library. Helen Spencer. Mr. Sullivan is the head of Librarian. Okay. Let's see. Wow, look at that. Cool. That pink roof. I love these 3D renders. Hello, Jennifer. Wow, look at this guy. Everybody's like really orange in this game. Did you come to check out a book or something? Mr. Sullivan, you're as cute as ever. How's Helen? She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? It's quite a collection of archaeological value. Uh, no, no. Thank you. It would take a long time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to spoose out of that. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Well, drop in for a visit anytime. There's just a whole lot of, like, really weird... Like, and look at how far apart these, like, locations are. It would take her... Like on foot, walking from from uh this hotel to this library would take like forty minutes probably, just for like a two second conversation. University personnel housing. I live here with Helen. No one would be there if I went home now though. Okay, so just you don't want to be home alone. That's understandable. If you've just been uh escaped from the clock tower murders. I'll go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. All right, University Research Building. Cool building. I like red brick buildings. They're nice, They're comforting. I like the texture of brick. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. I've got to get it restored tonight. It's always happening. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. Alright, just more 
short conversations. Uh, where do we go now? Do we try to go home? Huh? Someone is in front of the house. Oh, that's... Mm, a nice angle there. Oh, no. <laughs> it makes it sound pretty sinister. What? Did we just let whoever it was in? Oh, check out this room. <laughs> this is kind of uh, over here on the left. That's kind of creepy. I don't know if I would want to have that in my room. It's a little disturbing. All these like sepia-toned photographs. Oops. Uh, I don't know if I can click on anything else. Click. You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Please call me Nolan. Why would you invite a random reporter in? I've been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you too. Oh no. <laughs> dot dot dot, yeah. What do you say to having dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me, I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Yeah, this dude's a weirdo. Uh, well, uh... Dot dot dot. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is painful. That's it, both. Yes, both. An interview and a date. Alright then, teehee. Let's go. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Popcorn ceiling? Hey, I actually have popcorn ceiling in my apartment, and they made me sign a release about asbestos when I moved in here. I'm kind of worried about it. I've bonked the ceiling a couple of times. The game was directed by Hifumi Kono as a spiritual successor to the Clock Tower series. Kono notes that the female protagonist of Night Cry is louder and more confident than the female protagonist from Clock Tower. He cites the differences as a result of his changing perception of women who he no longer idealizes as docile and ladylike. Have you guys ever seen Night Cry before? It was supposed to be the, it was like a Kickstarter game that was supposed to be like the successor to Clock Tower. Because that game was really something else. <laughs> it was really dog shit. If you haven't watched it, I would really recommend um, Super Great Friends Let's Play of Night Cry. It's one of my favorite Let's Play series of all time. It's really... Uh, there's nothing else like it in the world. It's very late. Also, the protagonist of Nightcry is like a total bimbo, like, which is actually an improvement. Scandinavia living. Wait, wait, I wanted to click on that. There was something to click on. Wait. Wow, look at the creepy black background with those tree JPEGs. Okay. I think I missed like a critical path or something. Whoa. What's wrong? <laughs> Help! Someone is following me. Uh oh. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo. <laughs> yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes! Finally, some killing. Let's go. Uh, okay, we need to hide. Uh, go in there. Uh, can I hide in here? Click, click, click. Click on anything. Get in the box. She gets in the box! Wow, look at him. Wow, he's completely fooled by that. The 2D bits kind of look like Moonlight Syndrome. I've never actually seen like any of that game. I just know that Suda worked on it. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about it. This might be useful. You now have oil can. Thanks. Is there any way you can see like my inventory? Nope. Guess not. It's locked. Wait, I should save my game. I just realized I haven't saved at all so far. Oh no, since there was that there was that point where it asked me to save. Oh, it took a while. Pro Barton? Oh, prologue, okay, yeah. 
uh, return to game. All right. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Oh, it's finally getting translated. I think that's the reason why I never really checked it out. It's because there was no, no fan translation or anything like that. That's something I can defend myself with. Nothing strange inside. Okay. Come on. I wish you could advance the dialogue a little faster. There must be some food crumbs or something. The quarter of the box is covered with ants. Okay. You know, I've been finding a lot of ants in my apartment lately, and it's kind of freaking me out. I think they're cute, but like... You know, it's not good to ever find ants in your apartment. What's this? You discovered hint number two. I guess we'll find out what the hints are once we get, like, killed or something. I think that sends you back to the main menu. There doesn't seem to be anything inside. Okay. Can we turn this on? Oh, the power is out. There's been a translated script forever, but it hasn't been implemented till now. You know, I remember back uh, when Mother 3, like, before it actually had a patch or anything. Like, there was, like, a translated script, and I remember some people that I know were playing that game just, like, by consulting, like, a game FAQs document uh, anytime they encountered anything that had any text. So that seems like a nightmare way to play a fucking game. Sugar ants? I hope not. I don't really, like, leave food out or anything. I don't have any, like, sweets or anything around. I don't know where the ants are coming from. They tend to be in my bathroom, weirdly enough. They are pretty tiny. They're not, like, super beefy ants or anything. The room appears to be the laboratory, but the door is locked. Okay. I'm sure Helen's laboratory is on the second floor. Yeah, you were there earlier. Let's go to the men's room. Yeah? Okay. The guide and hand system is how people still play old Sakura Tyson games. What is Sakura Tyson? Isn't it like a strategy game or something? Like some kind of like warfare type of game? There's blood on her hands, probably from the security guard. Oh! Jennifer, dot dot dot. Okay. So we just wash the blood off our hands. Maybe that'll stop us from being like framed for being killing for killing that guy later or something. There's no sign of Scissor Man hiding in here. Oh no. It would be better if Scissor Man was in the bathroom stall, honestly. It's a hybrid dating sim strategy game. That sounds interesting. Strategy theater girls game. Cool. Like, uh, is it like uh, Advance Wars or something? The first one for Saturn was actually just translated last year. Right entrance door, what's going on? It doesn't even budge. Okay, so we can't get out through there. Oh, like playably. Okay. Wait. Do you mean like the, the patch just came out like last year? That sounds interesting. All right. So we have this room here. Check out this table. I'm gonna wait a second to click on that guy. There's a key on the table. What is this? It's a key. You got the ladder key. Check out this blanket. A sofa, probably used for naps. There's a blanket with blood stains on it. Okay, that's normal. There's a partition. Okay. Well, I guess let's click on this guy. Excuse me. <laughs> oh no. Well, he's definitely dead. That was a cool sound effect. Huh. The telephone is dead. Is there anything else I can do in here? Oh! What? Okay, that's kind of weird. What's that partition for? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! We gotta get out of here! I can hear Scissor Man! Get out! Get out! No, no, no! This music is intense! Quick! Go up the stairs! Ah! Uh, 
I really like the kind of like dollhouse look of like a lot of the stuff in this game. The way that like the rooms are often like framed by like just the black void. Uh, let's hide in the woman's room. Wow. This fucking acid base goes hard. Uh, yeah, hide, please. He's gone. Yeah, that music is cool as fuck. I love that synth bass sound. So far, all the music has been cool. But the, the silence in between is, like, really cool as well. Wait, first... I want to go down this way. I really don't imagine that Hel... She's, like, she said something about, uh, Helen being in the, uh her office on the second floor, but I really can't imagine she's still here if Scissor Man is like roaming around and the power has been cut. You were playing Vagrant Story over the summer, you can tilt the camera to see outside of the room into the void and it makes the environments feel more like meticulous little toy dioramas. That's always a, that's always a really nice touch in games. I'm trying to think of some other games that have that feeling to them. There are academic journals on the shelf. They look really boring. Yeah, I fucking hate academic articles. When I was in the school, I had to read hundreds of pages of fucking academic text a week, and I fucking hated it. Make your brain turn into pudding. A sofa. There are small shoe prints on it. <laughs> Somebody with tiny little shoes dancing on the sofa. Sure. There. Are, okay, we already looked at that. That's right. Clop, clop, clop. The footsteps sounds are pretty good. With all that, like, PlayStation. Uh oh! Oh my god! Uh, can we get out of here now? Please. <laughs> the way that he moves is kind of funny. Uh, out. Go, 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 go. Ah! <laughs> He's so scary. Uh, come on. There we go. You can like double tap to run. Uh oh. I think that you can use the fire extinguisher against him. Maybe. Can we? No. No. Okay, I'm about to die. Then. Uh. Okay. No, no, no. I actually, I know, I know where there's something in here that we can use against him. He's so slow. He's kind of like not that threatening when you actually can see him. But when it's just the sound of his scissors like coming from off screen, it's pretty menacing. Okay, go through the door. It's locked! Uh oh, we're dead. We're fucking dead, dude. Alright. Can we uh resist him? Oh no, we're dead. Okay, we're just fucking dead. Alright, well, it's fine. There's not really many consequences to dying in this game, so. Dead end. Because <laughs> there was that uh, in the office, in Dr. Barton's office, there was that cabinet that said that there was like ammonia. So, okay, now we can check pamphlet with the hints. Let's see. The main character is determined by a number of times Harris is spoken to in the corridor during the prologue. If he's spoken to two or more times, then Jennifer becomes the main character. If a certain item is not picked up in scenario one, then the best ending will not occur. Great. <laughs> so the entire ending is determined by, you know, like, clicking on the, the right pixel to get the, like, random-ass items. Like that oil can? Why did Jennifer say that she might need that? I don't know. Anyway, we can just continue. I think it'll take us right back to... where Scissorman popped out last. Uh, where's he gonna be coming? I wonder. Come on! Oh my god! Oh no 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 no! Okay, he like clearly is seeing us go in there. <laughs> oh my god! 
Go in the stall, please. I wonder if this will work two times. Okay, okay. Whew. That was really scary. I was kind of worried that we were going to be stuck in like an unwinnable situation there. Okay, let's go back outside. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, now let's try to get into that office. Um... Yeah, the, the way that, like, there are many files on cases of mental illness, the way that, uh, she goes through the door very slowly, even though Scissor Man is right there, like, you know, it feels kind of comical. You can actually, if you double tap, the characters will run, but, like, uh, it's it seems kind of iffy to get it to actually, like, go off correctly. Harris's desk. There are many cutout articles on the clock tower case, scattered all over it. There's even a picture of me here. Okay, click on this computer. Danny's desk. There are several trading cards and small toys. Okay. I like Danny better than Harris. I like small toys better than articles about murder. Helen's desk. It's very neatly organized. Okay, couldn't read that. There is a key. You now have office key. Alright, so that's where that was. This is a cute office. I really like these chunky computers. Beth's desk. There are stuffed animals and a spray can? What? A spray can? Oh, a can of mace. Okay. Can I take it? <laughs> Why would you not take it when Scissor Man is chasing you? That uh, doesn't make any sense, but okay. Volumes on psychoanalysis. This is Professor Barton's desk. Where's the telephone? It's dead. Of course it is. You're in a horror game. Let's check this office. Why did Dr. Barton have a gigantic replica of Scissor Man's scissors in his office? Even though he was like insistent that Scissor Man didn't exist. Oh, she just went right over to that. <gasps> Ha ha ha. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> That's some good puking sound effects. Pretty minimal, but effective. He just really likes scissors. Yeah, who doesn't? They're a cool object. Patients charts are collected here. Okay. <laughs> there are many bottles of medicine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the scissors are gone. So that means that this scissor man has the scissors specifically from Dr. Barton's office. Like, presumably. A cheap table. Dr. Barton's a cheap skate. He won't even buy the expensive IKEA desk. Alright, let's get out of here. So, let's try and go back to that room that Scissorman burst out of the locker and started chasing us. Because that's uh, the only place on this floor that we haven't been yet. Because that other door was locked. Since the note said that uh, if we miss an item, we might get a bad ending. Or not the best ending. So, we might as well just look at everything. It's really hard to get her to run consistently. All right. Let's hope that Scissor Man doesn't come out again. Okay. Yeah? Oh, 
I'm back in control now, I guess. Or am I? She's like not moving. Oh, okay. There are various documents on the desk. Is there anything to be seen around? There's no sign of anyone. Oh, the building seems pretty abandoned. It is like the evening, right? It seemed like it was dark out earlier. Let's see. There are some handbags and umbrellas. I'll check the fax machine in just a second. I already know what, what the fax machine has, has in store. I'll save it for last. There's nothing inside that would be useful. What? What are these doing here? A pair of underpants is hanging up to dry. Somebody pissed themselves on the job, I guess. Alright, let's check the fax machine. <laughs> the rating is weak and unsteady. I'm coming to get ya! <laughs> this is how Scissor Man threatens people. It's not very convincing, honestly. But I like that Scissor Man, Scissor Man, known for his giant pair of scissors, decides to menace people using like a fax machine. Seems kind of out of character. Like maybe a little bit too sophisticated for a guy like him. But hey, maybe I'm just being uh, presumptuous about Scissor Man's character. He might be a very refined gentleman. Who knows? Alright, so the only place we haven't been yet is the third floor, right? There is a third floor, I think. Maybe it's just the roof. Uh, let's go upstairs. That fucking PlayStation 1 reverb on the footsteps. It's music to my ears. Um, so we might as well check the bathroom. Well, I mean, good thing the bathroom is right here as soon as the scissor man music starts. Yay, okay. We successfully hit the scissor man in the bathroom again. He's just like, I don't know, it seems pretty obvious, like, check the bathroom. You like the division and horror stuff between divorce metaphor and what if there was a guy? What do you mean? <laughs> what did she mean by this? <laughs> Fierro's laboratory is written on the door. The door is locked. I don't think we've seen anybody named Fierro yet, right? Oh, we can come here. Odd panic. Thank you for following. Yeah, Scissorman's never used the bathroom before. That's why he doesn't go in there. Men's lounge is written on the door. Why is there lounges in a building like this? I guess it's like staff lounges. So... <laughs> the, like the concept of clock towers. What if there was a weird guy? Yeah, he is pretty weird. He's just kind of a guy. He doesn't have like uh, much to him. Oh, like a raven. Thank you for following. He doesn't have much to him except for his scissors. He's just he's just a scissor guy. Some cosmetics are on the table. There's something written here. You discovered. Hint number three. Whoa. Hey, wait a second. What's that? Wait, so we do have an inventory. That's good to know. We haven't really needed to use any items yet, but... Bunk beds. No one's using them. Bunk beds for napping. Helen must take naps here when it gets late. That looks comfy. I'd like a bunk bed. The surrounding campus is lit up by the streetlights. The campus is creepy with everyone gone. What is that? Just like a nondescript object? Okay. 
reverb is so beautiful. Okay. Emergency exit. It's no use. It won't even budge. Seems like a kind of a problem if your emergency exit just doesn't work. Right? <laughs> Alright. Maybe there's like one more door on here to check out. I'm surprised that one wasn't locked too. Uh oh. Look at his face. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm in control. Uh. How did he set that up? <gasps> Maybe Scissor Man is smarter than we thought. That was amazing. Uh, hi. Since he doesn't ever seem to go in the bathroom. That was even better than the fax machine. <laughs> I really hope there's more stuff like that in the game. Right, so the strategy that we're we're coming up with now is just any building that we're in that has a bathroom. If Scissor Man's around, just go to the bathroom. It's not a problem. You know he'll respect your privacy if you need to pee. All right. Well, he shut all the computers down. That's courteous of him. He seems like he's like indulging in like the theatrics of it. Maybe he's just like, you know, wants an audience and he hasn't figured out that you don't have to like force somebody into it. Plain, simple table. Jennifer's got no high opinion of this table. There are personal computers on the table. I'm not very good at computers. Yeah, me neither. There are some tools here. Wonder if it's being repaired. Wait, this all right, so we can't get the tools or anything. Yeah, he's got a he's got a flair for the theatrics. Something to like about Scissor Man. I might break it if I touch it, yeah. Uh there isn't anything that might be useful. Okay, great. So what's the point of this room? There's like nothing in here. Oh, so we have that ladder key, and the only place that we haven't gone yet is the roof, right? So, I don't know, let's just head up there and see, uh... <clears throat> there's, uh, anything to be found. Wait, there's a door here. Oh, the door to the rooftop. It's locked and won't open. An emergency ladder? I've never seen something like this in my life. <laughs> Is this like a European thing? It's locked, so I guess it can't be used in an emergency either. That seems uh, like an oversight. But we do have the ladder key. From way up here. Is it safe? I mean, it's an emergency ladder. It's what it's for. Cool. It just had one sound effect. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine there would just be like fun ladders in like a rich person's mansion that you can just like smash out the window and like climb down the side of the house. I've never seen that in my life, by the way. <laughs> Is that really a thing that exists? Like, I don't know. We have like fire escapes in the United States or or else, uh, you know. Oh, <laughs> what in the fuck is going on? We haven't even solved the last case yet. And now another mass murder. 
This is uh, this is all new to me from this point. This is as far as I've gotten. And you're and again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster. But it's true. I mean, he didn't really do anything that suggested he was a monster. I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissor Man is back, baby. Jennifer, dot dot dot. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now and rest. Like, shouldn't you be under, like, police protection, though? Oh, okay. We posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. Why would you, like, insist on, like, your job title being lower than what it is, than what they, like, said? They did it in Parasite? fire slide what are you talking about is there like a whole like world of like fire escape devices that i just don't know about canceling scissor man for doing live show during a pandemic yeah that's the worst thing that he's been up to actually jennifer look at her look at her nose and her dead eyes helen it's true it was the scissor man i know i believe you jennifer he is just being stubborn. I heard that teach. Oh, he's not pleased about that. Anyway, if it's him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. Just talking about like killing this man in front of the, the police. We can do it. Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't talk to the inspector though. What should I do now? Your elementary school had a fire slide from the second floor. That's interesting. I've never seen that in the entire, like, United States. I've never seen anything like that. You can't tell if it's a rendering error or if Helen is wearing a thin blue belt over her pink jacket. I think it's a belt. That looked normal. Sometimes I'm kind of wondering if there's, like, rendering errors on some of these characters' faces, though. Sometimes it seems like, uh, you can see the background through their face or something. Let's see if we can go back and talk to that inspector guy. I will go to see the inspector. It's kind of hard to know like what location you click on. Uh, it's going to take you to like more story. <clears throat> oh, you're still here. Just having a normal conversation from opposite ends of the room. You should go home before it gets dark. Don't forget your key. All right, sure. You thought it was common in the U.S. Maybe you just used to live in a in a crazy ass state. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. I've only been to uh, five different states in the U.S. So I mean, that's only only a small little nugget of the country. Wonder what Nolan is doing. Oslo week newspaper company all these like renders of these buildings look so quaint <clears throat> this man is the cameraman who's with nolan <laughs> is nolan here he looks so stiff hey you're jennifer yes i am is nolan here nolan he just wants to look for you he's worried about you oh he is he should be back in a bit but i don't think you should wait here. Why? Yeah, why not? Well, you're hot stuff again, and if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. Is there like big cattle ranching culture in Norway to have a phrase like that? I'll come back later then. I'll leave the back door open for you, so try not to be seen when you come in. Thank you. Yeah, I miss Tim too. We could use a little bit more Tim in this game. He's a pretty fun character. I like his hat, his backwards hat. You can tell he's having a little bit of fun. Wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by Scissor Man. In the Norwegian sub, he says, Till the reindeer come home. Where do reindeer actually live? I always think of. Don't reindeer live in like Mongolia? Am I, am I like completely off there? I don't know where they live. 
I know there is no one here. Okay. What? She knows there is no one here, but she was just like going there specifically to look for like the characters we were there to see earlier. Let's go to the library. There's no reason to go to the library. Okay. Why is it even on the map then? Wonder if Helen's here. Yeah, we'll go to the research building. I would be kind of wary of going right back to the building you were just uh, chased around by Scissor Man. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Something about, like, the way that her nose is, like, looks like it's almost like a separate object from the rest of her face. Like, it catches the lighting differently. Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower? Murder? Yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. No, he gave it to... Was that Harris? Some other guy. He sent him to the suburbs to look for Rick. Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. Definitely to Rick. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. Anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue's there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything related to... Scissor Man. Wouldn't they have, like, already photographed the statue? Is it really that important to have, like, the actual statue anymore? Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer. Yes. Who's Nolan? Ah, uh, ahem. <laughs> well, I'd better run along now. Why would you not tell her? She's like your guardian. Well. Riveting dialogue. Staff housing. I'll bet my house is surrounded by reporters. Probably shouldn't go home for a while yet. Okay. I mean, they're going to be there even when it's dark, too. Um, there's no reason to go to the library, but we were just talking about, like, talking to, what's his name, Sullivan, the library? Alright, let's go back to the hotel. Maybe they're back now, now that we triggered another story scene. Kind of, kind of, like, no, no real idea of what I'm really supposed to be doing here. They were talking about finding Rick, but that's pretty vague. I know there is no one here. Okay. It's, it's strange that she says, I know there is no one here, but, like, why why doesn't it just give you a message like, oh, I shouldn't go here, like the rest of the places do? Oh, okay, we should go see Nolan. Right, right, right. At the newspaper. Oslo Week Newspaper Company. Jennifer, are you all right? Yes, thank you. Police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he's involved in the clock tower case. I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. It's all very vague. I thought I'd go to ask him what he knew about the Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. You mean the one they found at the scene of the murder? Yes, I want every little clue relating to this case. Okay, should I get the statue from him? Alright, I'll go see him and get it. It's weird dialogue. 
weird. Well, do you want to ask Nolan? Yeah. Nolan, go get the statue for me. You don't have anything going on. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. The, solar, the sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go to then. It's just a lot of dialogue about the statue and this... Just Rick? Oh, whoa, now we're Nolan. <laughs> that was cool. Kind of like games that have like a lot of different characters you play as. It's fun. It's always surprising. Oh yeah, of course. Nolan, if Scissorman is after you, you hide in the bathroom, please. Yes, if you have any idea, please tell me. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrows? Castle? <laughs> Barrows Castle? Yes, it's a castle in England. Then, before the Barrows family moved? Yes, that is what I have heard. Over 80 years ago. Am I in control now? Okay. Is there something in the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. Just like Scissor Man. I had a thought. I had thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Then there is a way of defeating Scissor Man. Rick, do you know where this castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is. Do you have any like proof that this is true? This is kind of a bop. Yeah, that was some cool music. I like the clock tower theme for this game. Nolan, I was given this chandelier as a farewell <laughs> present when I retired. <laughs> so it used to hang in the Barrows mansion. Barrows, that's how it's said? Yes, what wonderful <laughs> times they were. Except for... <laughs> 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 Cool. <laughs> this game is fucking awesome. <gasps> Too bad. We could have used more Rick. He was pretty good. I would have liked to. Uh oh. Okay, we're being chased. Okay, we gotta. We gotta go now. We gotta go now. We gotta find a bathroom to hide in. <laughs> Is that his front door? This looks like that's a coat hanger, so. Yeah, this is probably gonna be locked. Yeah, Scissor Man's got the keys to every house. Huh? Well, it's open. <laughs> Are we gonna beat Scissor Man off with that umbrella? Just waiting for him? <laughs> oh, oh! What am I supposed to do? What? <laughs> yeah, this building does have the alone in the dark color scheme. This whole game kind of like, I don't know, it has some alone in the dark flavor to it, kind of. It's so crunchy. When in a pinch, there are many times when clicking on some item will rescue the character. Well, that didn't work for that umbrella. I don't know why. Don't give up. Try to click on something until the very end. So, what was- was there something I was supposed to do with that umbrella to, like, actually be able to fight Scissor Man with it? Because it seemed like he was just, uh, not really impressed by that. Let's try it again. I think it's extremely funny that he picks it up and just stands there, stock still, waiting for Scissor Man to show up. It's not even, like, a very, like, strategic position or anything. So I just mash like the X button when it when it starts flashing. Cause that 
Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, he just killed me again. Is there like a particular button I need to be pressing? Because that's just the normal click button I'm pressing. And I was like, I was like pressing it like I'm trying to win at Mario Party too. So, uh, click the door to run away. But that door is locked. I guess, uh, I guess I can go upstairs. Let's see if there's anywhere upstairs we can get away from him. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. So kind of weird house layout. <laughs> We're playing Scooby-Doo right now. Uh, I hide under the sheets. Are you fucking serious? Wait, what? Are you serious? <laughs> no fucking way. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Truly the most terrifying of all slasher villains. Defeated by... <laughs> oh my god. You know, this might be the best game ever made. Uh, can we watch the TV? Oh, I, I was hoping we could get like a close up on the TV. I can't seem to move. There's only this I can get on. Oh my god! I'm gonna lose my fucking mind playing this. Uh, no, 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 don't go back in there. Can we use the sheet on him again? Or is the sheet, like, uh, gone now? <laughs> oh no, I can't use it again. Uh, anything else we can do? Uh, anything? Closet? Hide in the closet. Yes. I think that one of the most charming points about, like, this type of adventure game is just that they rarely make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Just fucking... It's just the clown world. Nothing, nothing matters. Just a trash can. Just a normal trash can. There's nothing useful in here. <clears throat> Why don't you take a nap, Nolan? You're probably tired after all that neatly made bed i don't know if i would call that neatly made that's just like a like a towel laying on a bare mattress oh are we going out on a balcony oh cool this just leads to that cartoon room really hope the tv is like still going when we go in there Huh? Uh, all right. Get a lot of those trees. Looks like some some nasty goop. Undefined goop. Please, please let the let the cartoons still be on, please. It seems like a less believable that you could really like avoid Scissor Man for an extended period in this house compared to like that big building. This is like a, it's a pretty sizable house, but like, I don't know. I'm not really convinced. What's this? A note is stuck between the pages. You've discovered hint number six. A rather comfortable looking rocking chair. 
This is a really old TV. No remote control for anything. Just not impressed by that at all, huh? The frame is protruding a bit from the wall. I wonder if there's something behind there. There's nothing here. <laughs> What's the point of that then? Oh, so we're gonna check every picture frame in the house? While Scissor Man is roaming around? A portrait. It looks famous. A sofa with a stylish pattern. Just doesn't look too stylish from here. Cut out newspaper articles are on the table. They're all about yesterday's incident. Just as I thought. He must have known something about the scissor man. That footstep sound. Alright, let's go back downstairs. I love the texture of this game. The sounds and the textures. They combine in a really satisfying way. An umbrella stand. Oh, nothing there then. Nothing in the flowers. I don't understand paintings. <laughs> Nolan got no respect for art. Wait. Ha! Are you for real? Scissorman's pretty athletic, I'd say. This music is so cool. Uh, is there anything we can do in here? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing doing anything in here. I can't seem to go out the door. I'm supposed to do because he ran right up the stairs i think i've already exhausted like uh wait no, maybe i can still hide in the closet though because we were able to hide in the bathroom two times in the uh in the, the university building or whatever the office building uh oh uh this ain't gonna work what am i supposed to Mashing all the buttons at the same time. Whoa! Holy shit! <sighs> no, don't go in there. <sighs> uh. <laughs> he just decked Scissor Man. That was pretty good. No! For being like an Olympic level athlete, Scissorman's not very thorough. Okay, so I guess since we punched him, you no, know, now our cursor is like flashing yellow. Maybe that means uh we can't do that again? Maybe that's like our health meter or our stamina meter or something. Yeah, he really just he cannot. He has no attention span whatsoever, does he? Kind of enjoying getting to know the personality of Scissor Man. Alright, so now we know that we could probably fight Scissor Man with the umbrella if I just mash every button at the same time. Let's take a look at Rick's splattered body. <laughs> yep, Rick's body is underneath. He's dead. Many dishes of elegant design. It's really kind of strange, like the things you can and can't look at in this game. A full cocktail cabinet. Why did you drink that? Relax, relax. I'm not going to let him kill me. I feel like drinking a cocktail in this situation. Wait, it, it seems to recover my, my stamina because my, my icon's not flashing yellow anymore. 
You wonder if there are clock tower Fujoshis who draw cute art of him. I would expect so. There's all kinds of Fujos for like uh, Friday the 13th and uh, Halloween and I don't know. I feel like there's got to be somebody who's like into Freddy Krueger. China cupboard. All of the dishes are stacked neatly. Maybe we can throw this tablecloth over Scissor Man. A clean tablecloth on the table. Looks like one of Rick's paintings. His signature is at the bottom. Oh, so Rick is a painter. A wooden mask is on the wall. A souvenir from Africa. Something is written on it. This. This is the location of Barrow's castle. You have now confirmed the location of the Barrow's castle. Great. Uh... <laughs> cool. Supposed to be doing something? Oh. What? Uh, the mask. <laughs> cool. Okay, I was kind of like not really convinced that there was anything supernatural going on, but I guess that kind of. Uh... Settles that, huh? Garbage pail. A well-kept kitchen counter. Sure is a lot different than mine. Just thinking about the important things right now. <laughs> How did you manage that, Nolan? All right, let's check this microwave. A microwave oven. There's something inside wrapped in foil. Well, why don't we turn it on then? Are we implying that Rick microwaves things wrapped in foil? Seems kind of dangerous. Some kind of cooking utensil. Nothing here that can be used as a weapon. Can we open this mysterious looking hatch on the floor? A small square pantry? What? Must be a European thing. I have never in my life heard of a pantry being in the floor? What? Does that mean like a cellar? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Is there... Let me just look at this couch. This nice blocky couch. A sofa, a relaxed design, showing Rick's taste. He's really like preoccupied with like Rick's taste in like paintings and like architecture and furniture. He was feeling something for Rick. Then it was all snatched away from him. Sofa, a relaxed design, showing Rick's taste. Okay. There is a stone statue. Wonder what kind of statue it is. What does that mean? All right. There's a lot of rooms in this house. Whoa, cool lighting. Bathroom sink. There's a toothbrush and other daily toiletries. Toilet. It's pretty low to the ground. Hmm. What memories? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, I wish I could do something for Rick. It's too bad. Uh, but... You know, he's like a 
been paste on the floor now. Most of him is soaked into the carpet. The bath towel is on the shelf. Can we go into this like ridiculously huge fucking shower area? <laughs> yeah, he seemed to be pretty attached to that chandelier. If he like kept it as a memorial from a memento from his family that he was a butler for, he must have really loved that chandelier. The shower. Let's see. No, nothing else to click on in here. I wonder if we could use the, the shower to defeat Scissor Man. So there's nothing else in this room. Why did he say what memories when I used the toilet? Washing machine? I don't think Scissor Man's in here. You never know. There is some detergent and other cleaning supplies. This could be used to blind someone. That's kind of a morbid thought. You now have the power soap. Okay, great. I often look at objects and think I could use this to blind someone. I guess he's in a extreme situation, but is there anything else to click around? What is this? A cabinet? A chest. It's a fine looking chest. <laughs> Too bad it isn't being used. <laughs> a chest that is not used. It still looks fairly new. Can I get to that box up there? Uh, it's just set dressing. Check these. Box is full of canned goods. <laughs> There's some laundry inside. Okay, so it seems like we're done here. I can't find anything else to interact with. Probably, I, I would imagine that the front door is open now that we looked at that mask. Something about the sight of Rick crushed under the chandelier every time we come into this room is... It's just really getting me. <laughs> under his, like, cartoon pool of blood. Alright, let's get out of here. Probably the door is just, like, magically open now. Yep, take your time, Nolan. It will not open. All right, what are we supposed to do then? Is he trying to lock me in? Did we, uh... An umbrella stand. All right, so how do we get out of here? There's like that balcony. Can we like jump off the balcony? We don't have like a rope or anything though. <laughs> oh my God. The Crimson Heads in the Resident Evil remake were so fucking scary. <laughs> it's so stressful whenever you come into a room and you see that the zombie is just like a slightly different color. And you're like, oh boy. Time to start dealing with that guy. A neatly made bed. He really was a man of steady habit. Yeah, we already saw that. What's this? The alarm clock. The alarm is set for 6 a.m. That's when I get up every day. Early bird gets the warm. Can we just like jump down? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, kind of not sure what to do at this point. This is the part of the point and click game where you run around looking for like any any like object you could plausibly click on if anybody has any ideas please feel free to let me know because i feel like we clicked on everything that was like super obvious 
Oh, this was just a hint. Might as well check it again. There's sure are a lot of mystery novels. Yep. Uh, uh. Yep, just that old TV that Nolan is not impressed with. Wait. Oh, so we were unlocking it. That's what we were doing. I thought that we were locking it from the outside, but I guess that wouldn't make any sense at all. All right, this here, what is this? Curtains? What's the point of that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Not sure what that was all about. Uh, I, I really don't know where to go. Let's just go search the first floor again. I'm sure we'll find something eventually. Coat rack? A coat is hung up. It's probably Rick's. I don't see a coat on that coat rack, but okay. Power's out. Scissor Man's really good at cutting the power. Yep. Nolan does not understand art. All this wood paneling is pretty nice. I guess it's not really paneling, it's just like planks for the wall. A nice gray carpet. Want to lay down and touch that carpet? Right. Seems to be. Yeah, the cocktails. Full cocktail cabinet. We already used up the cocktail. It seems like Scissor Man's just like gone. So. We're just kind of fumbling around for clues at this point. <laughs> if I'm like overlooking some kind of like a uh, obvious thing, please let me know. <laughs> Clean tablecloth on the table. Yep. Is there anything over there? Oh, so he is still here. But we know how to beat Scissor Man this time. He's not going to get the best of us. Now we know how to use the umbrella against him. Scissor Man has no chance. Mashing every button as fast as I can. Yes! Oh my god! No, don't go upstairs! Okay, well the music stopped though. So, does that mean I can just go right back down? Or is he just gonna be there? <laughs> okay, sure. He just vanished. Whatever. Well, I'm glad we got to see that animation. I wonder what specific button it is that you're supposed to be pressing. Maybe there's like something in the pantry now that we got Scissor Man to pop out of there. Wonder if he'll be in the washing machine that we said that he was not inside of earlier. 
now that we have triggered this thing. Nope, nothing. All right, small square pantry. It's almost bare. Anything in the garbage? Probably not. Might as well try. Okay. Nope, we don't need to look at that again, Nolan. Oops, oh my god. Okay. There was, I guess we can't look at the stove again. Okay, this is kind of a drag. Like, seems like uh, seems like I must be missing something obvious, but I don't know. I feel like I clicked on everything. So, so I need to check on Rick again. Hey, Rick, you okay? Can you like wake up and unlock the door for me? Can you tell me where your key is. Oh, I guess not. Wait, wait a second. Okay. Oh, back. Rick's dog is... What? The dog looks... Whoa. His dog has got rabies? I guess? Can we go out? Steal his wallet? Yeah, sure. Wait. Uh... Way the dog just kind of like casually stood on him. That was great. Or maybe that's what I need the powder soap for. Seems kind of like uh disgustingly cruel to throw like laundry detergent in a dog's eyes, but if I don't have any other options. Here, take this. That's really fucked up. I don't like doing that. <laughs> it just runs off into the woods. That's kind of fucked up. I don't like that. Oh, we got an FMV. Hell yeah. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, all leads have come to a dead end. Scissor man. Yeah, if I saw a guy throwing laundry detergent in the dog's eyes, I would probably try to kill him with some scissors, too. What? That's an ending? <laughs> what? Cool music, though. <laughs> a story for the ages. This girl got chased around, and then some guy threw some laundry soap in a dog's eyes. That's the ending. That's the canon ending, of course. Ooh, that fretless face. Nice. <laughs> Remembering all of our favorite moments at Clock Tower, like when we found that decapitated guy, and when we hid in the bathroom. Oh, precious memories. <laughs> when Scissor Man came out of a locker. Total 3D animation chief. That's a real big shot, I guess. Total design chief. Well, obviously that's not what's supposed to happen, but I really liked what happened so far. Rick died, it should have showed the Elder Scrolls the threat of prophecy is severed message. I agree. <laughs> I think that we should be able to play as Rick for the rest of the game. 
every character should be replaced by Rick, and they should all be voiced by Rick. And he should just go around remarking on the chandeliers. This song is really good. All the music in this game has been great so far. <laughs> the Scissor Man's face looks really funny up close. kind of like knew like what to look for sort of it's an acid base again Most of the pirate software that I have is from like 10 years ago. <laughs> this isn't like looping, I just didn't notice or something. It's really hard to judge, like, uh, where I should be sitting relative to my microphone and stuff. Presented by Human. Thank you, Human. Well, I need to take a quick bathroom break, and then we can come back and try, uh... There were a couple of, like, yes or no choices. Wow, ending rank E. Survivor unidentified. What does that even mean? Jennifer's ending. So we got some hints, right? We had we had the hint that said that the number of times you talk to Harris determines the main character of the game. So we can try talking to him one time and see what happens with that. And there's also the yes or no choices of to send uh, Harris with the statue to go find Rick. So he had the statue. And uh, there was also, I can't remember what the other choice that we had was, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to BRB really quick and, uh, you know, am I still quiet? Here, let me add some text so that people know that I'm not here.
No, not photosensitivity warning this time. It's... Yeah, there we go. You guys can enjoy this intro again while I'm gone. Alright, I'll be right back. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. A trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Here it is, the Barrow's Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of scissor nests. Got to be joking. It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, guys. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> Who will make it through this game of murder alive? <laughs> Clock Tower. Evil the murder lives. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. A trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Evil murder lives. 
With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. A trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Fear is fascinating. Yes, that is true, Clock Tower. Well, how are y'all doing? I'm gonna keep going. Do we have to start a new game? Oh. Good, good to hear. Wonderful. I'm having a lot of fun so far. Wait. Oh, okay, that's just this cutscene. We don't need to see that again. Um. So. Lurking while bashing your head against code? What are you working on? You finished your Coke Zero from Arby's? That sounds tasty. I could go for some soda right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I got pizza last night and I was like... I was like, oh, I could get, I could get soda with this, but uh, I try to drink just water most of the time. But of course, right now I'm s still sipping some rosé out of a fucking little black cat sippy cup, so I don't make a mess. I should get a sponsorship from Monster. Yeah, that would be nice. I actually, I drink. Rockstar this morning, which felt like heresy. Normally, I, I'm like a diehard monster fanatic. I don't really like Rockstar so much. It's like, uh. It tastes so sharp. It tastes like melted Sour Patch Kids or something. Just some homework? Oh, cool. Well, I guess that's not cool at all, actually. Nobody likes homework. <laughs> like, what kind of. What kind of coding is it? It's like data structures or algorithms or uh I don't I don't know. I don't know anything about programming. <laughs> let's start a new game. Let's try let's try uh let's try playing as Helen this time. Let's blitz through this opening and see uh see what Helen's route is like. We'll probably get the E ending again. Computers are hard. They're all... Everything they do is confusing. Open reading data and writing new files. Professor Bart. So like system calls Professor and stuff? Bart. Sounds like kind of fun. What on earth are you doing, Professor? Oh, we cannot skip this, huh? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen. <laughs> The clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. <laughs> I love how he says that. What happened? She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. I don't like this guy, yes, Professor. I hope we get to see Dr. Barton get run over by a steamroller that Scissor Man is driving or something. Okay, so you just can't leave. Probably the scissors, I'd say, are the, the trigger for being able to leave this room. Because he just, like, I can't click on the door. Yep. And we get that rave lighting.
Yeah. Scissor Man's looking for a new uh a new gimmick. People are getting tired of his old his old deal. Why can't I leave? You just have to look at everything before you can leave. Clock Tower Murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson. Okay. I don't know. I really don't know what is up with the... Uh... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Well, you don't know that I'm not still like peeing at my desk, so... It could have been true. <laughs> Thank you for telling me, though. <laughs> All right, now we can finally leave the room. My laboratory. Okay. Look at this woman's face. Like, the the reduction of her face to, like, the most microscopic features by this, like, angle. And look at Dr. Barton, too. I just love the way that, like, PlayStation games will abstract a character's face down to just, like, the most cryptic, like, bizarre symbols. Can we just- we have to talk to everybody again, really? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a save when we leave this room. We're gonna make a save before we talk to, uh... Is his name Harris? The guy who determines what the main character is. And we're gonna keep that so that we can come back without having to do all this shit every time. Oh my goodness. Jennifer is nothing more than raw materials for my process. Yeah, same. Okay. It is cold. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. What does he base that on? Like, he... He's already of the opinion that Scissorman is not immortal, so like what does he imagine that like a statue could really like have to do with like anything regarding this? Alright. Alright, can we move over here now? Can we just leave? Oh my god. This is his ritual that he has to perform every time he leaves his office. He has to talk to everyone three times and check all the computers and the rubber mask and the statue and the file cabinets. You know, there's like the sound of that fax machine, but that's all the way down the hallway. Pretty loud fax machine. Yeah, he's standing in the hallway, Barton. It's a pretty intense fax machine. I guess that's uh, what industrial office quality results in you gotta you know that you're getting what you pay for when it's that loud right, so it seems like we've looked at everything in here can we leave now you know that mask it makes me think of how there's always some contrivance of like how michael myers gets his same mask in every halloween movie even though it just doesn't really make sense that, like, it would just be available in the town year after year. Some of those, some of those movies take place, like, quite a long time apart. Look at, look at this man's stance. Do you know anybody who stands like that? I don't know. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first... Floor. It's entering power mode. Yeah, he's about to 
Start summoning up all the little rocks on the floor to start floating around him. I'd kind of forgotten how funny the Dragon Ball Z powering up animations are. Until you were talking to me about Rose Goku the other day, stunts. And I watched that video of Rose Goku powering up. So we only talked to Harris one time. Let's see what happens now. I'm assuming that this dialogue will probably be the same. Hey, there's Tim again. Yeah, I'm happy to see Tim again. Tim wouldn't ever throw any detergent in any dog's eyes. He looks too nice. Yeah, it would be really nice if there was a way to like speed this up. I know there's a way to like speed up emulation, but I don't have a key bound for that or anything. I didn't imagine that this game would be this slow to get back up to speed when you're trying to go to a different route. You guys see any cool animals today? See any nice birds or any like little squirrels or like, you know, ground ground dwelling mammals or maybe your neighbor's dog or you saw a duck? That's wonderful. <laughs> Was it doing anything fun? <laughs> Good. All ducks are nice ducks. Just your cats? Cool. Cats are wonderful. What are your cat's personalities like? It was swimming. Yeah, ducks tend to do that. It's really funny when they uh, walk out on the land. They look buffoonish. I always like the way that ducks snap their little beaks around when they eat like a uh, bread or something. Needy? Yeah, cats can be like that. I've got a pet rabbit and she's really... never, never leaves me alone. If she's awake, then it's her time. I'm not allowed to do anything. Alright, let's get on with this shit then. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. Okay, and I'm gonna make another save right before we talk to um what's his name? I can't remember. There's like two guys. There's Harris and there's also that other dude who is like standing in the office itself. Back to the office. His running animation is really funny. He really looks like an old guy. You really hope that we get attacked in the elevator eventually? Oh, I didn't save. Oh wait, no. I still have an opportunity. Yeah, elevators are a pretty fun, uh, scary, uh, scary spot. I really don't like taking elevators. I always take the stairs whenever possible. They freak me out. I don't like it at all. Yeah, yeah, Harris. Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Okay, so... This is, I think, the point where we asked him to take the statue. So this time... Let's tell him not to take the statue and see what happens with that as well. So I'm kind of wondering, now that we know that there's like a supernatural element, like undeniably, 
there's no way that Scissor Man could have rigged up that uh that mask and the chairs flying around. Like I don't know. Scissor Man's got some skills, but I don't know about that. So maybe the maybe the statue has got some kind of like uh powers. Like it has some influence over over the human mind to turn people into Scissor Man. Okay, that's that. So Harris will not be taking the statue. He'll just be standing here. No, Harris. I don't want anything to do with you. You're creepy. Ah. Uh, I keep cracking my spine. Feels really good. All right, now we gotta go through all this dialogue again. This is kind of a drag. Uh, Harris is a freak. He seems he's got some bad vibes. I don't like him at all. <sighs> yep. We gotta go through all this dialogue about how he's named Edward and like what is even the point of like questioning him if he doesn't remember anything? Oh, what a drag. Oh my god. <laughs> er, yes. Yep. Why did my cursor turn blue for a second? Um, yeah, we'll save in data slot three. Okay, finally some new territory. Jesus Christ. <laughs> kind of abrupt, but okay. You said your hard drive crashed? That's too bad. Wow, real sympathetic. Yes, I lost all of this morning's data. Hope I can get it fixed sometime today, otherwise I won't get my dissertation done on time. Don't worry, when Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I want to step out for a bit. Can I step out and have a cigarette? I'd like that right now. Sir, see you later. OMG girl, you have to back that up in the cloud. Yeah, I know, right? Where should I go? I like how it's not phrased as a question. It's like a statement. Where would Helen go? Does she really have any reason to go to the police station? Police station. Okay. I keep all my shit backed up to like... I have an external hard drive and like a second internal hard drive. I'm really neurotic about losing all my data because I have all my files going back to like high school and stuff on there. I don't want to lose it. Feels like losing a piece of myself. Oh, yeah, I, f I forgot I have to press a button there. Assistant Inspector Gotts, the person in charge of the clock tower case, is here. Yep, he's standing right in front of you. Well, Teach, got some new info? No. Have you got any leads? Nope, nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the... case. Yes, that sounds like Professor Barton. What about the, that little cutie, Jennifer? She's still having nightmares, occasionally. I ain't surprised. This guy's weird as hell. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Real real productive conversation. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go to the newspaper. I'll be mobbed by reporters if I go over there. Hotel? Norway International Hotel. 
Edward and his guardian are staying here. It's so stressful slash funny that everyone is a weird lech to Jennifer. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up to, with that. She just, I don't know. It's not like she's particularly glamorous. She just looks like a normal person. She looks, you know, like a weird pixelated blob like everyone else in this game. They're here. Great. Okay, Helen. They're just always hanging out in the lobby. How's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? <sighs> no, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Yes. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. Okay. Plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. Okay. These conversations are really strange. I didn't realize it was this late. I've got to get back to the university. Okay, so did we have like an invisible timer? Many university personnel use it. Oh, so we still can go other places. I wonder if this affects anything. Like maybe if we go back to the university while it's like still daytime maybe something different will happen it's kind of hard to tell like what the conditions are in this game <laughs> this guy's model again hello helen mr sullivan what are you doing here today oh nothing really just thought i would drop by oh i see i wanted to show you my collection i've just added a new piece what does he collect like, he keeps saying his collection, but, like, he doesn't specify what it is. He kind of reminds me of, uh... Remember that guy from Final Fantasy VII? The guy that you fight? There's, like, an airplane in the background of his, like, battle sequence. Something about his model, like, reminds me of that. I really have to get back to the university. Okay. Well, I should get home and work on my dissertation. I think that guy's name was Palmer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think his name is Palmer. He's like a kind of a minor character. He's kind of like comic relief kind of guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> his eye. He looks like the Chad uh, from the Chad meme, kind of. Oh, Miss Maxwell. I replaced your hard drive. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, that's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. The finance major style. Yeah, he's got that Argyle sweater. We will all be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. Sounds kind of ominous when you say we will all be going home soon. We will all be going to our eternal home soon. So now we're playing as Helen... Yep, sleeping. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Okay. Bunk beds for napping. Again, I would really like a bunk bed. Bunk beds for napping. Yep. No one's using them now, but when academic society meetings are near, it's quite a scramble to find an empty bed. An old air conditioner that doesn't work very well. <laughs> I like how she sleeps in her business suit. Yeah, it's just it's just efficient. You know, nobody really cares if your suit is like heinously wrinkled as long as you're wearing one. The surrounding canvas is lit up by the streetlights. It is pitch dark outside. Okay. A comic book brought in by one of the staff. Cool. Wonder what it is. I wish that it specified the content. Maybe it's maybe it's too risque to state. There is some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff. I don't know which is whose. How do they keep track of it? It's just a total free for all. All right, let's go out on the hallway. I kind of wish there was like a way to like press a button to slow the cursor down a little bit. The women's lounge can be locked from the inside. Okay. Am I supposed to be doing something? Uh, 
uh, I don't have any items. Uh, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Great. Yeah, we've established bunk beds, but I feel like I've examined everything. <laughs> I've already read all those books. Okay, what's that? For some reason there's a pillow on the shelf. Okay, so that's what that's supposed to be? I remember she once said she couldn't sleep without her own pillow. Oh, real princess type. Maybe we can use that to smother Scissor Man. Maybe we can have a pillow fight with Scissor Man. I think that would be a nice plot turn. Is the audio alright now? It seemed like it was it was like really loud when we were watching the credits earlier. Okay, thank you. Um, maybe I talk to her again. I don't really like talking to somebody who's trying to sleep, but Rose, are you seeing Baker again here? Yes, sort of. <laughs> well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the University as a motel. That's kind of rude. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. Okay, so that's probably... We can probably get out of here now. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Yeah, it seems like the credits music. Most of this game is just like quiet footsteps and like occasional like little musical stings and stuff. I'm kind of not... Not really grasping like what I'm supposed to do <laughs> to get out of here. Like I'm not missing something, right? I, I feel like I've clicked on everything. Oh, okay. So we just had to fulfill the conditions that make her want to take a nap. I'll take a quick cat nap and then work on my report. Gonna go to sleep fully clothed on bare wooden slats. It's good for the back, you know. Uh, door? Okay, just click on the door. Well, now who is it? Creepy. Who is that? He's gonna be dead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> she just totally juked him. <laughs> it's as easy as that, I guess. Uh, let's just go to the bathroom, as usual. <laughs> Scissor Man is always ready to party. He's just he's just too playful, you know? It's not his fault. It's not his fault that he keeps skewering people with his scissors. He's just he's just a little too rowdy. You know, he's not used to having friends because he's you know, he looks like that. I just want to say the shadows in this game being composed of like a series of like like shadowy rectangles. <laughs> he just wants to watch Tom and Jerry with friends. I wish that we had a chance to like somehow her friends are covered her hands are covered with blood. I wonder I wonder if that's a condition for getting one of the other endings like we get like framed for a murder or something. Yeah, I really wish that that Tom and Jerry that Scissor Man was watching in his rocking chair would come back. I don't I don't know if 
Scissor Man watching Tom and Jerry or uh, punching Scissor Man in the face was like a better moment in this game so far. They're both pretty classic though. <laughs> okay, this is the men's lounge. Scissor Man is doing all these murders because he's really upset about Tom and Jerry kids. It really misses the mark. I feel like I can remember watching Tom and Jerry kids as a, as a small child, but... I don't remember anything about it. It's probably my, my mind making sure that I'm uh, insulated from how bad it was. Throwing the blanket on him was pretty sweet. That was probably one of the best ways that we've defeated Scissor Man so far. I wonder if there is something here that might be useful. She's not scared of computers, like Jennifer. Jennifer was afraid to even touch the computer. Ah, there is nothing abnormal. Okay. <laughs> there are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. You now have pliers. He keeps telling everyone a pup named Scooby-Doo is better, but no one will listen. Yeah, I would say the pup named Scooby-Doo is significantly better than uh, anything related to Tom and Jerry. It's at least got the Kennedy kick dance in it. Who doesn't love the Kennedy kick? A plain colored curtain. It is very dirty. <laughs> Low opinion of the cleaning in this place. A personal computer is on the table. It should have access to the internet, right? <laughs> We're not going to use that, though. A cheap desk. They've got budget problems here, too. Man, that must be a really cheap desk if both Heather, or uh, Helen and Jennifer uh, have remarked on the cheapness of the desk. Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm not really sure what was up with, like, the, the craze of, like, baby cartoon shows at the time like uh i can remember watching the baby looney tunes and tiny tunes i guess tiny tunes wasn't like a a version of a different cartoon but you know it was like they they just had to invent like a baby a baby version of a of a show out of whole cloth without like a pre-existing cartoon to base it on <laughs> Someone broke all his Garfield and Friends VHS rips. For some reason, I thought that Garfield and Friends was like more recent than that. I've, is, I remember seeing some Garfield cartoons on TV when I was like way younger. Uh, I don't know if that was Garfield and Friends or if there's multiple Garfield cartoons. You've discovered hint number five. Awesome. There are small shoe prints on it. Yep. They look like they were made by a child. So there's just like a child like standing on the sofa. I mean, it's not really unlikely that like if a child was in there that the child wouldn't be just like standing up on the sofa and doing weird shit. Magazine rack. There are many academic journals. Let's peek in here. You thought it was cute that they gave a Kermit a Sailor Fuku in Muppet Babies. Well, that's valid. I think that anything could be and, you know, improved by a seifuku. They're pretty adorable. There's no sign of anyone inside. Seems like a strange decision to put Kermit in one, but, I mean, I'm not gonna argue. Oh, here we go again. Same as last time. Yep. Let's go back to the bathroom. Man, rave on. Kermit the Frog is actually pretty cute. I just whenever I think of him, I think of that one. Uh, there's that one song in the Muppet movie. Where there's just Kermit and this bartender are basically singing like, "Oh, women suck so much." Like, 
I wish that I didn't have to date women, and it's like, hey guys, you know, there's a solution to this. This it's right in front of your face. <laughs> Do you know what song I'm talking about? That and uh, the the part in the Muppet movie where they they're driving and uh, they say something about oh there's a fork in the road and then there's like literally like a giant fork there. That's like the main parts of the movie I remember. And Rainbow Connection, which is a good song. <laughs> I've never watched any of the other Muppet movies though. I really I remember at the time when Muppet Treasure Island came out. Uh oh. Department. There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man. <laughs> You've heard of him, haven't you? If this is a prank phone call. Wait. <laughs> Lol. Why would you just say that? Why wouldn't you just like say it matter-of-factly? Anyway, I remember when Muppet Treasure Island came out when I was, like, little... Uh-oh. Oh, more threatening faxes from Scissor Man. More threatening DMs from Scissor Man. Yep, gotta wait through the whole sound of the fax machine turning on. Anyway, Muppet, Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> yeah, it really it really just sounds like a, like a prank phone call. Like Bart Simpson is calling the police about Scissor Man. Me describing the guy who broke into the police. He had a gun, so I think his name is Gunman. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that is how they usually say it in the media, but inside there are some dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. The owner is well prepared. <laughs> For what? There are several stuffed animals inside. Good! You should fill every locker with stuffed animals. Flashlight. This might be useful. Anyway, Muppet Treasure Island, though. Sorry. <laughs> you have the flashlight. I just remember that, uh, at the time, I knew adults in my life were, like, really, uh, disturbed by... Come get ready, I'm coming to get you. Uh, we're really disturbed by some scene in Muppet Treasure Island where there's just, like, a short gag where one of the Muppets stabbed another one in the back. And it's like, they're pirates. Like, what do you expect? They do that kind of stuff. Can't wait for Mega Man 12 with Gun Man and Scissor Man. Yes. <laughs> if Scissor Man became Gun Man, like, none of these characters would have a chance. He just has, like, one giant gun. Like, a giant handgun. He has to, like, pull the trigger with his entire arm. Maybe he is the gun himself. You remember that very vividly? I wonder why. Was there like some sort of like media uproar about like Muppet Treasure Island having a stabbing in it? Scissorman's profile is here too. Let's check all the computers. Harris's desk. There are many cut out articles on the clock tower case scattered all over it. Oh, you just watched it a lot as a baby? Why? I mean, I guess you watch anything as a baby. I watched uh, a lot of Adam Sandler movies on repeat when I was like a small child. <laughs> Energetic in his investigation of Scissor Man. I don't know. I think Harris probably wants to be Scissor Man. He's like those people who like run fan blogs for like serial killers or like the Columbine shooters or something. Danny's desk. It's really messy. Danny, clean up your act. You just be Deputy Mon? Does Deputy Mon have a gun? They were afraid it would influence kids to become puppets and stab people. I wish. That would make the world a better place if everyone wanted to become a puppet. I want to become a puppet. Helen's desk. Oh no, I left the key to the office laying here. You now have office key. Deputy Mon is a gun and has two guns. Sounds pretty sick, honestly. What, uh... Looks like Beth forgot these. There's a spray can of mace on her desk. This is supposed to be the one with the powerful, irritating smell. <laughs> That's an interesting way to describe mace. So what does what other Digimon are 
is Depinumon associated with? Like, what does he evolve like from Digivolve from and or into? I uh I like Digimon, but I never was like super. I didn't like follow the show very closely. Like I watched a lot of like Digimon Tamers when I was like little, before school. Um, but I don't know. It was just kind of like scattered episodes because some days I would watch this show where there were like just live action hamsters that they dubbed over. They were just kind of like running around some little sets and like talking about popcorn or something. Some of them were written by Professor Barton. Old criminal records. Reading too many of these could drive you crazy. Yep. That's what happens to people who listen to cru true crime podcasts. That's right. Professor Barton's phone should be able to call outside. Are all the other phones like just only connected to like the local phone lines? The line is dead. Deputymon is a mutated Digimon whose body has become a gun barrel. The details of how it was born are completely unclear. There's one called Gundramon that's sick. Guns all over. It also loves Russian roulette. Man, Digimon is more fucked up than I thought. Even with like, isn't there isn't there a Digimon that dies like for good in in Digimon Tamers? I know that was like the main thing. Like I tried to rewatch that like a couple years ago because I wanted to see the Digimon die. <laughs> oh, poor Leomon. I don't really like Leomon. That's fine. Leomon can die for all I care. Yeah, look at the dead body. Rose is laying on the bed. Oh no. Was that the lady who was laying in the bed earlier? Like in the bunk bed? <laughs> Leomon is just like the sacrificial lamb of the entire Digimon franchise. It's like when they, uh, I don't really care if I spoil, uh, what is it called? Uh, what does that say? Te, te, te mi, te mi poto. Who? I, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Thank you for following, though. Patient files are stored here. Oh yeah, Leomon is like the Aslan of, uh, Digimon. They sacrifice him on a stone table. Bottles of medicine. She can't identify that as ammonia. Hello. Hello. Oh, Timmy, Timmy Potop. How you doing? There's something written on the file. You've discovered hint number four. We found a lot of the hints now. I think that's half of them at this point, right? <laughs> Leomon is the South Park Kenny of Digimon. You know, I was thinking about the South Park uh, first-person shooter game. I don't know if it was released on any platforms other than the N64, but I remember having that as a kid. That might be fun for a stream. I hate South Park, but I remember that game being like really weirdly menacing. Like uh, the first the first uh, levels, every enemy was like a turkey and you could like pee on your snowballs to like increase their damage or something. It was a terrible game. I really hated it as a kid. A trash can. Okay. Yeah, the the the, the South Park N64 game is really bad. Uh-oh. Bathroom time. Let's go to the bathroom. Cesarean will never find us in here. Oh yeah, got it. That takes me back. I feel like I mostly just went into multiplayer mode and picked up the guns and just like shot them at nothing. And like, that was all that I did with South Park the game, because it was just so unpleasant on every level. Just waiting for the music to go away. Alright. Yeah, you know. Scissor Man's got his like, Bluetooth speaker on him that just like, constantly emits his like, acid bass music so that, you know, just to like, as a little courtesy. Just to make sure that, you know, give you a, a sporting chance to get away from him. Huh. I kind of where's the the ladder key? I think it was on the first floor in that room with the dead guy. <laughs> His beats by Dre have a lot of sound leaking issues. I would really like to see Scissor Man wearing beats. <laughs> if anybody out there has some like crayons or like uh you know anything 
on hand like a napkin. Can you please draw me Scissor Man wearing Beats by Dre? Like, send it to me on Twitter or something? Research lab currently not being used. The door won't open. There's no way to open this door. Just impossible. Are we allowed to make game requests? Um, well, I have a absolutely enormous list of games uh, that I would like to play that I made like in advance. Uh, what do you have in mind? I guess I'll, I'll consider it. Wooden box is stuffed with papers, probably old research material documents. If I could only find something to use as a weapon, ain't gonna happen. There's nothing inside except a scrap of paper. Okay. Who would just leave a, a whole cardboard box with one piece of paper in it? There are many parts for computers. Baroque, Echo Knight, Beyond, and Siren. I actually have... I have uh, Baroque and Echo Knight on my list already. And Siren, I love it. I love Siren to death, but like it's also insanely hard and frustrating. What do I want Scissor Man to wear? Can you draw can you draw Scissor Man wearing Beats by Dre? <laughs> Please? The store should lead to the parking lot outside. Oh, it's locked. The doorknob is wired shut. It won't open. Oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. <laughs> but I wonder if I could do something to the wire. Okay, so that's our goal now, is to get wire cutters? Wait, we have pliers, don't we? Uh, I'd still like to check the other uh, room on this floor. I would really love to play Siren, but it is just like so difficult and it would be so frustrating. Like I'm thinking in particular there's one mission, or, like multiple missions where the, the objective is just like to beat the mission under like a ridiculous time limit and it seems like it would kind of just be like a agony to like watch someone trying to fulfill that condition. Would I play D? Yeah, sure. I've actually never played it before. I've only watched a Let's Play of it like maybe almost like 10 years ago. D2 is really cool too. I've watched the uh, Let's Play of that several times. Ooh. I was there just like a water droplet sound effect when we came in here. Now security will surely come. No, I don't know about that. If I can somehow stay alive until then. D is on Steam for some reason? I wonder if it's a good version. There's a key lying on the table. What's this? You now have storage key. Storage key? What is that too? A sofa the security guard often uses for naps. I kind of like how there's like different perspectives. Something sounds like water dripping. Oh, I bet it's definitely not blood. I like how uh, the perspectives of the characters are different, depending on if you're playing as uh, Jennifer or as Helen. Can I not go behind this? Okay, I guess not. No? Can we not? <sighs> we were able to walk behind that thing somehow. Uh... Oh, Beats by Dre are just kind of like a, they're like a popular kind of like a headphone brand, like in the United States, like, uh, uh, how to describe them? They're just like, a, they're noticeable by having like a big red B on them. It's okay. You don't have to draw them. I was mostly just saying it was like a joke. If you want to, if you want to just draw Scissor Man with like crayons, I would be very happy to see it. Or, or I don't know anything you have on hand. If you got some like uh, washable markers or some ketchup packets, I'm gonna see if that key will work on the the locker in here. Let's see. It's locked. Storage key. Will you open this? Okay. No. 
So was there like another room that was labeled as storage? How do I get rid of this? Oh, I just got to select the cursor, I guess. Maybe there was like another storage room on the first floor or something. I really wasn't uh, paying attention to what the rooms are called. You only draw jokes? Like what? What kind of jokes do you draw? Uh, let's see. I guess we'll check all the doors that were locked. This is the laboratory, Barton's laboratory, so it's definitely not that one. This door, though. Okay, who knows this laboratory? I think that the, uh... On the third floor was just, uh, somebody Fierro's laboratory, I think it was called. And the, the men's and women's lounge that we've already... We haven't been to the men's lounge, but I, it was locked as Jennifer, so I don't think there's any point in checking it. So let's see on the first floor if maybe there's like another room we can check out. Now that we have the storage key. So we already went in that room. Oh, you missed a bit? Oh, I was just kind of jokingly asking someone to draw Scissor Man wearing Beats headphones. I feel I feel more and more ridiculous every time I say it. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Bathroom time. Lose too much time drawing dumb stuff that you hear during streams. I know that's fun though. I don't. I wouldn't say it's lost time if you're enjoying what you're doing, right? <laughs> the tension of hiding in the bathroom of Scissor Man. I really like that it's like just foolproof. Scissorman will never check the toilet. You know, actually, the first, the last time that I tried to play this game, when I trailed off on it, uh, Scissorman actually did kill me in the bathroom a couple of times. The research lab currently not being used. I wonder. All right, there's no way to open the store. What do you What do you think that storage key goes to then? Because it's clearly not the roof key, because it's called the storage key. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we have pliers. We can at least get out the door over here. We can... I don't know, I'm sure I'll be playing this uh, through this route again sometime. <sighs> Let's see. Pliers. On the door with the wire on it. It worked. Oh, that was a really nice sound effect. <laughs> huh? It's even locked too. That's why we have the storage key. Even though she said this goes to the parking deck. It opens. Okay, great. I've got to get to my car and fast. Yes, let's see some like low poly 3D cars. I'd really like that. No car? What a letdown. Okay, cool. Well, that went pretty smoothly. Let's see. Let's see what uh what else happens. I kinda I kinda wonder if we're gonna end up playing as Nolan again. Or if we're just gonna be stuck as Helen the whole time, or if she's gonna meet somebody else. What the fuck is going on here? We haven't solved the last case and now another Mass murder. And you're saying the murderer is Scissor Man? Come on now. But it's true, I saw him clearly. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. 
Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go on home now, Teach. Hmm. Oh, but don't go anywhere too far for a while. Because I'll probably have to call you in again. Soon. I know, Gots. Okay. Can I talk to Jennifer? Helen. It's alright, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clues about Scissor Man. Everyone's just obsessed with Scissor Man. If we don't do something ourselves, he'll probably kill us. I guess that's why they're obsessed with Scissor Man. No need for sarcasm, Teach. What? Was that sarcasm? I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissor Man? Yes. But I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Okay. Well, shall we go? Wait, no, I wanted to talk to Guts. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Somehow. I must find a clue about Scissor Man. Wonder if there's any news. Yeah, let's go talk to Guts. Rude to Scissor Man. Who could be rude to him? Suke Bancho? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Gots doesn't seem to be here. Oh, okay. So he just left. Maybe he went out to lunch or something. Yeah, he does look human. Really, the only non-human thing about him is his face. And, like, they were clearly saying, like, Scissor Man wears a mask earlier. Cheap rubber mask worn by Scissor Man, or whatever it was. No reason to go to the newspaper office. <sighs> the hotel. Wonder if Edward is there. Yeah, let's go talk to Edward, who doesn't remember anything. I'm sure it'll be very productive. We'll have another conversation that's like, Hello, do you remember anything? No. Okay, well, I'll be leaving now. Helen, I heard that you were attacked by Scissor Man. Yes, I was. <laughs> I don't know if he was the same one as in the clock. Tower case, though. Maybe he will go after Edward, too. Where is Edward? I think he's in the library. He seems to like it there. So you're just... Why aren't... Why aren't you going to check on him? Aren't you his guardian? Please tell him to come back soon. Okay. <laughs> I'm this child's guardian. He might be st being stalked by Scissor Man, but... You know, I'm not going to go check on him. Could you do it for me? house is surrounded by reporters. I like how we have not been able to go back to the university staff housing like at all yet. I shouldn't go anywhere near there now. The investigation of the scene seems to be over. All right, maybe we can talk to Barton or maybe uh Helen's co-workers or something. Every time the scene opens and it shows their weird faces, it just, like, gets me. Helen, are you alright? Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? <clears throat> yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation. Okay. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? They really like to use the phrase, the scene of the Clocktown murders. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. He did not ask Harris to do it. It's not here? No, and Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn, I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue. About Scissor Man. Okay. Did he tell you where he was taking it? Probably to the library, right? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. Okay. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. <laughs> Who's Rick? I don't know. Alright, I'll go over to the library. It's too bad we didn't tell Harris to take it to Rick because then we might have seen Rick again. It would have been great to see Rick again. I'm actually kind of disappointed that we didn't ask uh, Harris to take the statue now. But now we get to see uh, Edward and this guy at the same time. Killing two birds with one stone.
Now, she did kind of look like that botched uh, restoration of the Jesus painting. Honestly, that was an improvement, though. The Metropolitan Library. wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. Yeah, why don't you go and check? At the blocky, you know, polygonal library that looks like a train station or something? You know, like, the quality of these 3D renders, it, it like, reminds me of something that would be, like... I don't know, it weirdly reminds me, you know the, the children's uh, play mat? Like the rug that's like the little town with the road on it and stuff? It reminds me of that. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Wow, look at her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh... Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. You know, this would probably look great on like a CRT monitor, but it's too bad it's like impossible to get your hands on one of those now. Okay, so Dr. Sullivan's not there, so that was just pointless. The house, okay, can't go to the house. Shouldn't go anywhere near there now. You have four of those rugs? <laughs> Is your is your room just like tiled like wall to wall with like with like little little children's road oh CRT monitors <laughs> Oh my god Okay that makes more sense than having four uh children's little road play mats <laughs> That's lucky though Man, I really wish that you could get them. They don't sell them in like thrift stores here anymore, though. Like, I would literally go to like, uh, like Value Village and see like stacks of fucking like CRT monitors out like behind the store as like garbage. And I was like, I'll fucking, I'll destroy you if you throw those away. Give them to me. I hope you find the statue. Okay, great. Thanks, Beth. We just came all the way over there just for that. <sighs> No, we already went there. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's definitely not there. We were just there. Yeah, I do remember them being pretty small. It seems like they should be way larger to have the uh, the illusion of being like a, a whole city. You can like drive like a little matchbox car around or something. You know, she reminds me of some kind of drawing or something. I can't remember who though. Maybe Mr. Bill? From Saturday Night Live, the little claymation guy that suffers. Wonder if Edward is there. Just search every location until something happens. <laughs> God. Edward doesn't seem to be back yet. I didn't like we we were specifically told to go to the library and check on Edward, but like we only bothered to ask about Sullivan. No reason to go to the newspaper office. We'll go to the police. Oh, yes. All this gots about Rick. No. We mustn't invoke Mr. Bill. Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't want to think about anything related to Saturday Night Live. Honestly. I mostly just remember we had like a VHS tape of Mr. Bill when I was like a kid. And I would watch it over and over. Because I was, I was a twisted kid. I loved gruesome violence against little claymation guys. I thought it was really funny. Got any new info, Teach? Do you know a name named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. There could be like 50 men named Rick in this city. Oh yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family? Of the Clock Tower case? That would mean he... Well, he quit 10 years before it all happened. Okay, I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? The statue just might be the key to the secret of- why does everyone think this? Scissor Man, why does everyone think the statue is like the, the key? I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I thought that he was going to take it to Sullivan. Maybe I just, like, missed that. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get... I like how he's saying it as if, like, you believe in Santa Claus. You want to get your hands on it, too. 
Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. You will? All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue. Oh no. No, no. Absolutely not, Gots. You're gonna have to fight Scissor Man with an umbrella? You're gonna have to throw a blanket on Scissor Man? Um. Hmm. Oh, hi, Aki. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm having a lot of fun so far. <laughs> Just uh, investigating the mystery of Scissor Man all across Oslo, Norway. You don't know anything about SNL? That's probably for the best. Honestly, it's terrible. I don't, like, even the 80s SNL is, like, not very funny. And, like, the present day, like... <sighs> Alright. Are we gonna... I don't want to ask Gods. I want to keep playing as Helen if we can. So, let's say no. Thank you for offering this, but Mr. Sullivan at the library may have it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think that we're taking the right path. We're gonna go to the statue now. If he doesn't, I'll give you the call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Just let me know. Okay, I already read that. You sent me a gift on Twitter. Thank you. I'll take a look at it. Uh, maybe, maybe when I... Next, have to take a bathroom break, which probably won't be before too long, because all that wine is really doing a number on my bladder. Oh, you're glad you woke up in time to catch me? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. Thank you to everyone who showed up. It's been really, really fun so far. Mr. Sullivan, he's now in the head librarian's office. I see. Thank you. Oh, we already talked to her. Sometimes when you talk to people, they have like multiple lines of dialogue, but sometimes they're just like a like a dummy that dispenses one clue. Okay. Um can't go behind the counter. Ah, okay. Is that Edward? Hey, how you doing, kid? Hey, champ. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Oh, is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. <laughs> Some awkward conversations. Okay, that's the end of that with him, I guess. You also sent me a gift on the bird website? Thank you! I'll come back and I'll I'll show them on the stream when I get back from uh, my next uh, bathroom break, I guess. Which will probably be before too long. I would say I would give myself a good 30 to 40 minutes before I'm like screaming for mercy. As long as I can get uh, Streamlabs to like accept the pictures again. I don't know why I couldn't drag and drop pictures in earlier. That was kind of weird. <sighs> the reading room. It can't be entered without a key. Okay. Well, it's nice to see a new environment. I'm sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Okay, let's go talk to him. That's what we're here for, right? We talked to Edward and he like would not talk to us about anything. Look at how formally that guy's standing there. This seems weirdly cramped, even for this game. It isn't art. Don't be too excited. Your tablet is broken. You're waiting for it to replace it. Oh, I'm sorry. It always sucks to have your tablet go kaput on you. I've had some weird stuff happen where, like, uh, Windows just, like, uninstalled my tablet driver for me one time. <laughs> it's just kind of annoying. You broke the pen in half. How did you do that? <laughs> Hello, Helen. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. 
very natural conversation. By the way, Mr. Sullivan, yes, I've heard. There's something you'd like to research? I will give you a key to the reading room so that you can use the reference materials as you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and the statue. Oh, yes, that's it. <laughs> Professor Barton left it with me. Please come pick it up on your way out. Sure. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. So he's just going to resume standing stock still in his office. Oh, gripping it very hardly. Yeah, I guess that can happen. My tablet pen always feels uh, really flimsy. I guess especially if you have like a non like Wacom tablet, they can be kind of... Now I can enter the reading room. They can be kind of constructed sort of weirdly. Okay, I know that it's possible to like... I have like an old... Uh... Yeah, I guess it happens with time. Like when you have an old tablet, the plastic can get kind of brittle and stuff like that. I know that the pen on my tablet, which is like an old monoprice tablet that I got maybe in 2013 or something. Like uh, just uh, opening it to change the battery inside. You can break it just like by opening it and like putting it back together wrong or something. What is a PTK 440? Is that like a... Uh... Thankfully my tablet is still working though. The reading room. There are many valuable works here, only available to university personnel. I just hope there's something here that will explain the scissor man. <laughs> you know, just all the university documents that are standard about scissor man. Everyone loves to read about scissor man. It's a whole field. We got that good music on now though. We got this step ladder. Step ladder, yep. Books relating to England are up there. Okay. <sighs> oh, it's the old model of Wacom. Like, uh, this is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time, but this is hardly a good time. Like, is it from how old was it? The last Wacom that I had? Oh yeah, that's a long time ago. Wow! I remember the first Wacom tablet I ever got was like a Graphire 3. It was like a really small one. I think it was maybe like 4 by 5 inches, like drawable area, way back in like 2013 or something. Or no, 2003. Jeez, that's a whole decade off. Alright, so what's the point of uh, coming into this room? I, I don't seem to have found anything like useful so far. You still have a bamboo from 2010? I mean, you know, if it works, keep using it. Oh, okay, you have to climb the step ladder to get to the England books. The important books. Lords of Northern England. This is it. What? Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. <laughs> Alright, bye. I guess that was courteous enough. I found a clue about Scissor Man. I still have to pick up the statue. I'm sure the scissor man won't just like appear as soon as like, you know, we go to get the statue. Couldn't happen. Strange. The clock is chiming. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen. It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. <laughs> I think I'll go have a look. Well, I'll go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. What about the statue? The clock hasn't been working for ages. <laughs> I wonder if someone has been messing with it. 
<laughs> That's his voice. Mr. Sullivan? <gasps> Whoa, wicked. Cool. How did Scissor Man manage that? Cool. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of the Burger Man from Sonic Adventure. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. Yeah, Scissor Man, honestly, I'm kind of rooting for Scissor Man. He's like, uh, equally sophisticated and buffoonish. What? Okay. Yep. Sure. <laughs> he's like, he's... Huh? Edward's voice is heard from upstairs. What? He can't still be here. <laughs> that was incredible. I just love that... Helen? Oh. It's coming from inside that room. Why is he saying it so creepily? <laughs> it's a little unnerving. Yeah. Sometimes you feel sorry about Scissor Man. You know, he's trying his hardest, but he just can't seem to kill the protagonist. You know, why was there a little hole? Uh. Yep. Okay. All right, we'll just run out of here again. All right, what do we do now? How does Scissor Man get back up there so fast? <laughs> right, let's see if there's anything in this room that we can do to uh, get away from him. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like anything. Yeah, we're about to get murdered. Or maybe we can- Ah! Uh, no, 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 no! Oh, yeah. We got stabbed. <laughs> the bigger scissor man theory. Yeah, that chase music is so cool, isn't it? Alright, while we're here at the main menu, let's look at the hints, because we haven't seen uh, a few of these, I think. No, we already saw that one. Um... Endings, except E, are determined according to how many conditions were met in the last scenario. Okay. One extremely important point is who is asked to investigate the statue in the prologue. Okay. Do not forget who is asked. Alright, so... <laughs> so it seems like making a save before asking about the statue was a good choice. Oh man, so it seems like the main branches are whether you get Jennifer or Helen as your main character and then whether or not you ask Harris to take the statue. The pattern of the star plate is extremely important. What are you talking about? What is the star plate? <laughs> Have we even seen a star plate yet? It would be wise to write it down. What? Here, let me get a pen and paper real quick. <laughs> what the hell is the star plate? We have not seen anything that even remotely resembles something that could be described as a star plate yet. <laughs> uh... Very strange. Uh oh. Ah, uh, go upstairs. <laughs> well, I mean, at least now I'll be on the lookout for the star plate and know to write it down. Is there anything that can be used in here to defeat Scissor Man? No, it seems like there's nothing I can interact with. Alright, let's just button mash and punch him again. Yeah? No, I just died. <sighs> this is like that movie Memento? What do you mean? 
I haven't seen that movie in like uh, I don't know, probably like 15 years or something. <laughs> Is that a David Fincher movie? I'm not that crazy about David Fincher. He's okay, but not really sure what I'm supposed to do about Scissor Man in this case, because it seems like uh. Yeah, Helen can't can't fight him off like Nolan could. I don't know what to do. This <laughs> is like that movie Ghost Dad. <laughs> what did they mean by this? <laughs> Alright, does Helen have any items? Uh no? Okay, well that didn't help at all, did it? What am I supposed to do? Uh let's try to run into the clock room and then I'll I'll try and use this the flashlight on Scissor Man. No, 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 This is bad news. Oh my goodness. I hope this doesn't mean uh, that we're screwed. <laughs> hmm. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Go through the door. No, Helen. What am I supposed to do? How can they make this a continue point? It seems like a bad scene here. I right. wonder if I can super fast grab the flashlight and use it on Scissorman to like blind him or something. I'm not really sure uh, how I'm meant to escape this situation. He seemed like he was a little further back. Ghost Dad was directed by Sidney po po Poitier? What is Ghost Dad? I feel like I've heard the name before, but I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna say it seems a little bit sexist that Nolan could punch Scissor Man and knock him out, but Helen can't. I don't like that. It's not no good. All right, Scissor Man is slightly further away this time. There's just nothing we can use in here. Alright, Scissor Man. Okay, I think I might have to load. I think I might be stuck because uh, I, I don't seem to be able to do anything to get uh, past Scissor Man. Oh well, well we didn't do very much, so at least we know exactly what to do. It's a movie where Bill Cosby is a dad and he might also become a ghost. Oh yeah, I will never watch Ghost Dad. I don't think anyone will watch Ghost Dad. I really doubt that anyone in this chat cares about spoiling Ghost Dad. You know about it because of Homestuck? That seems like the kind of thing that would be in Homestuck. I still, someday I would really like to read all of Homestuck, but it's such a... It's like a pretty monumental undertaking. Okay. Is that the blue gremlin thing? What do you mean by that? With the orange horns? Yes, that is Homestuck. They're gray, actually. I didn't even get as far as uh, the, the trolls in Homestuck when I read it. They seem like they're the best part. I did play uh, part of the adventure game, the Homestuck adventure game Hive Swap. That was actually really good, from what I played of it at least. I'm thinking of Little Monsters starring Howie Mandel. <laughs> they do reference that in Homestuck, don't they? I wonder if that's the inspiration for the trolls. It must be, right? <laughs> Somehow I must find a clue about Scissor Man. Okay. You gave up just before the end. That's so sad, though. Getting to the end of something and then quitting. I guess there's, like, plenty of games that I've gotten pretty far in and stopped. I remember I got, like, uh, two-thirds of the way through Halloween 5 and then quit. Alright, we just gotta mash through all this fucking dialogue. Come on, no. Can we use the room now? 
Yeah, Homestuck is like a metafiction for like all all pop culture, basically. It's kind of cool in a way, but it's also uh, pretty daunting. I, I like the thought of reading Homestuck, but I don't know if I would ever actually like sit down and put my mind to it. I think that you might get brain problems from doing that kind of thing. I mean, look at the Homestuck fandom. <laughs> uh, she read all of 8-Bet Theater? <laughs> or do you mean that you read it like one time? Like you happened to land on the website and just read it? Is that still going? Because I remember that from when I was in like middle school. The wonderful world of 2000s webcomics. Do you guys remember White Ninja and uh, Little Gamers and um, what was Scott Kurtz's PvP? God, what a horrible time. Uh, house is surrounded by reporters. Let's go to the police station. I think that, yeah, you lost Gots about Rick. Okay. <sighs> Snafu.com? What is that? Sounds familiar, but I don't know. I can't remember. Ah. <sighs> I wish that my mic could like pick up the sound of my spine cracking every time I move. All right, so <laughs> and this is a drag. I really wish that there was a way to like speed this up a little bit more. Like you know, just press start to skip the dialogue that you've already read, like visual novel style or something. Just. You were about to say that at least Homestuck ended, but you just remembered Homestuck 2. Is there really a Homestuck 2? Is there really a Homestuck 2 coming out? I know that there's like a friend sim, which basically seems to function as like a whole new branch of uh, Homestuck media. And there's like Hive Swap Act 1 and 2. It's like an entire franchise. Do you remember how... Uh, the Homestuck game, the people that they paid, the people that they paid to make the Homestuck game just stole all the money and made some other game with it or something. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Why did that happen? How did they get away with that either? Whoa, we ain't got any other leads, do we? God, this dialogue is so long. No, Gots, you're not gonna go to get it. We're going to the library again. Rick does not have the statue. Sullivan has the statue, Gots. We're not going to see Rick. As much as I would like to see Rick again. As much as I would like to change Rick's fate and we could, you know, walk through the fields with Rick and hold hands with him. We're not gonna see Rick for a while now. It's too bad. <sighs> the Yogg's Cast game? What even is Yogg's Cast? I don't- I have never listened to a podcast in my entire life, so... This is all new to me. No, it's just a brand new comic- webcomic, just Homestuck 1. Oh, okay. What game did they make? I can't remember. It was like, uh, I think they were called like the Fine Gentlemen or something. Oh yeah, it was King a uh, King's Quest, a new King's Quest game. I never even heard anything about that game, so it's like they stole the money for a game that nobody even cared about. <laughs> I miss Rick. I'd really like to hear Rick's sonorous voice again. <sighs> Too bad that Rick's not here. Seems kind of weird to have these this table and chairs like right in front of that elevator door. Seems a little clumsy.
to try talking to uh, him only one time. Because we know that talking to Harris one time was a condition for changing the protagonist of the entire game. Devs doing that shit and getting away with it is upsetting. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, too bad. I never really heard of anything about anything being resolved by that. Seems uh, pretty nasty considering that a lot of people just put their money into it and trusted that uh, something was going to happen with it. <laughs> But then it didn't. So, wait, is that why the aliens colonial marines turned out as bad as it did? I had never heard that part of the story before. I had just seen like footage of aliens colonial marines. It's like a cartoonishly like total shit show. I remember watching a video and it was like a uh, The way that uh, they rendered the the guns in the first person perspective of Aliens Colonial Marines is like uh, they're drawn completely separately from like everything else in this way that like if you went right up to somebody's face, your gun, like it made you look like you were like two inches tall compared to them. It's like the gun would be like the same size in your perspective, but you could get like as close to somebody's face as you wanted and the gun would still be in the same position. It's really hard to explain what I mean by this, but... It's probably easy enough to find, like, a screenshot of it or something. <sighs> Alright, so... Why don't we save here? Because I really don't want to mash through all that dialogue again. That'd be a huge fucking drag. I guess it's a benefit for anybody who's like, comes in after... After the fact, but Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna read all that again. No, I don't even need to look at that. What am I doing? Books relating to England are up there. Yep, let's climb the step ladder and look at books relating to England. <sighs> Lords of Northern England. Yep, that's it. Why is she looking for that again? Is it because she's looking for info on Scissorman? Like who even, how did she get the information that Lords of Northern England has? Is it just because like she's looking up like the lineage of like the Barrows family or something? Well, at least we get to see Sullivan's head get cut off by the clock again. <laughs> That's one perk of this repetitive structure. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. What fate has in store for you? Yep. <sighs> oh yeah, of course, the Scissor Man section of the library. Get out of here. Whoa, Scissor Man's little laugh? Did you hear that? I didn't notice that before. Alright. Just casually saunter down the stairs. Alright, so let's, uh. <laughs> let's clobber him with the lamp again. That's still really good. There's just like such, I don't know, something about the uh... Helen? No, I'm not going up there again because uh... Scissor Man is just gonna come out again. I'm not doing that. I don't trust Edward, he's creepy. Take his scissors and become Scissor Woman? I wish. There's not enough games where you can play as, like, the slasher. Hmm. 
Except for like multiplayer games. Like I was just talking to No Stunts about the Friday the 13th game. And why, uh, it's like basically the entire reason why Jason is not in a uh, Dead by Daylight event. Okay. If it were only a little bigger, I might get through. Okay. They describe Devil May Cry as a game where he plays the slasher? I guess so, but like, Dante doesn't have like a slasher villain like energy, you know? Dead by Daylight stream when? I don't know. I'm no good at like multiplayer games. I feel like I would just uh, make a make an embarrassment of myself if I tried to play that game. Ooh, nice music. Cool. There are many encyclopedias. Yeah, we couldn't really check these bookshelves when we were here earlier. He's a teen turtle? Yeah, he does kind of fight like- I remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles brawler games. Or beat-em-ups, I guess. Brawlers are technically fighters, right? <sighs> there are red stains on these books. Blood? Okay. Is there a dead guy? <gasps> it's the receptionist! He's the library clerk I just saw. Whoa! Cool. <laughs> I like Scissorman's laugh. It gives him a lot more personality. Really absorbed in these books. Very funny. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> that is actually pretty funny. little frog jumps yeah you should have seen earlier he jumped from like a a second story balcony and just like landed on his feet like it was no big deal it was pretty impressive i think that was right before we threw a blanket on him and he was just defeated by the blanket he's pretty great i didn't i didn't really expect to like scissor man so much all right, let's check around it here if there's anything else to see in this room. It doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. A scissor man works pretty fast, huh? Pretty much every place that he goes, he just clears it out of people within like a couple minutes. The smile of the model on the cover looks fake. Yeah, you become pretty jaded in a situation like this, huh? Here, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna go check in the clock tower again. But I think that probably Scissorman's just gonna come out and, and ruin my fucking day. I'm just worried that it's there's like another hint up there, or like maybe like one of those items that they mentioned that like determined the entire flow of the game. Can anyone think of like any other games that have like slasher type like horror in them? Seems like a lot of video games are really focused on like supernatural horror rather than you know the moment to moment horror of like just one guy with a knife being after you or something. Edward. Edward. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I wonder if we can hide behind the reception desk again. Or uh, we didn't. We didn't try going in here. Maybe there's something we can do with Scissor Man in here. Maybe we can use the step ladder against him. It 
we can climb the step ladder. We're gonna push it over on him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So many ways to emasculate Scissor Man. Something we can do with Scissor Man. What do you mean by that? It's really hard to read what that emoji even is. It's so tiny in the window. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. <laughs> Who's the cutest slasher villain? My question to chat as a broad subject. What happened to uh, Sullivan's body? Something's written on it. You discovered hint number seven. All right, well, that was worth it. It's covered with rust. I just hope that Scissor Man doesn't come after us while we're on our way out and we get cornered or something. Yeah, Ghostface is a pretty good choice. Especially since Ghostface has been so many different people that you can really have your pick of, like, who uh, who's behind it. Leatherface? Yeah, Leatherface is pretty moe, honestly. He's got that, uh... He's got some sweetness to him, I think. Especially in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, I think Jason is pretty cute. He's got presents. Uh, can I leave? Dweeb incel mentality? Wait, the jumpsuit is... is uh, Mucky Myers stunts. I think you were thinking of of Mr. Myers. Michael Myers has the Siscon factor. That's a pretty like strong vote in his favor. No, Jason does not wear a jumpsuit. He wears like clothes. He wears overalls in the second movie. Which is a pretty good look for him. Yeah, he's just a nice boy. He's just trying to do right. Alright, well I guess we're done here. Oh, we're locked in. How do we get out of here then? <laughs> yeah, he just wears, you know, just, just clothes. A boiler suit? He's just wearing normal clothes? Yeah, he doesn't he just wear like a jacket? And like jeans or and like boots or something? He looks fine. No, he's working with what he's got. Computer for managing the library. I hope it's networked to the outside. This is like 1997. Who are you going to even contact? A plant. <laughs> Doesn't seem useful. Sure. Not in this situation, but plants. Don't ever forget, plants support all life on this planet. We would be nothing without plants. She says, I hope it's networked to the outside, but then she doesn't do anything with it. trying to think of like there's uh oh there's like the guy from i know what you did last summer but i don't even he's just like a guy in a coat right like a, a raincoat i don't even remember what the killer in like urban legend was amanda from saw is she the one in the pig mask because if so yes i agree wholeheartedly that was a good look <laughs> a rather primitive copier. She's like a copier otaku. She doesn't she doesn't think much of this thing. Not cutting edge enough for her. So they're obviously having budgetary problems here too. Just like at the university. Okay. So she's, you know, just always appraising like the furniture and like, you know, machines at these places. But everyone has gone home. Yeah, they've all either gone home or died. I'm going to save, just in case Scissor Man pops out. I haven't watched enough of the Saw movies. I saw... 
I think I rented the first one, and I saw the second one in theaters when it came out. Um, I would like to watch more of them. They seem like fun. Did I get the capture card for VHS Movie Nights? No, I didn't. I was looking at capture cards, but it seems like they're all either really expensive or have bad reviews, and I just kind of don't know, like, how to select one. You're curious as to what real movie posters these mega compressed things are? Yeah, it's always really fun when they uh, cram something like that into the game. And people don't even know that it's like copyright infringement until like a decade later or something. The calendar's hanging on the wall. Today isn't Friday the 13th. How do I screenshot? Oh, fuck it. I don't care. I can grab it from the VOD later. You got a $13 one for old games? Yeah, please let me know how it works out, because uh, I have some games on the PS3, like uh, Siren Blood Curse, I'd like to be able to play that Edward, one. I thought you'd still be here. Oh. Okay, so that's where he was. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Like Siren Blood Curse, and it might be fun to play like Tokyo Jungle Edward, on the PS3. This table until I call you. What? Why? <laughs> Be a good boy, and don't worry, we'll make it. How far into the series are you right now? There's something really, like, magical about, uh, watching an entire, like, film, like, horror franchise and seeing just, like, the ridiculous directions that it goes. Because they all just go off the rails, like, it's inevitable. Oh, Edward could fit through here. He's small. If I could just get the screen off, maybe we can use the pliers on that. Oh, I guess not. All right, so. I'm going to save again. Being pretty conservative about saving so we don't have to, or not conservative. Uh. Pretty free about saving so we don't have to keep watching all the dialogue over and over again. This is an RCA only input? Well, I mean, that might be useful even for, uh... Because I have some PS2 games I might like to play on, like, native hardware. And, like, Dreamcast as well. Siren Blood Curse is very good? Yes, it is. It's kind of, uh, underrated, I think. Siren Blood Curse gets a bad rap because I don't think people really understand what it's going for. But I think it's a really interesting kind of, like remix of the of the siren games i really liked it when i played it personally you watched the first three last night and so much happened in that one and a half hours you can't even start oh you watched three last night i'm curious i remember liking uh the first two back at the time <laughs> I remember the guy who uh, directed, I think, Saw 1. Didn't he direct, like, a... What's the one that's about the... The Conjuring? Didn't he direct The Conjuring 2? That movie was really fucking out of control. It was a clown car kind of movie. It's, uh... The Saw movies seem like they're for, like, a particular kind of person. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of, like, torture. Torture type of movies for the most part, but... The Saw movies seem like they have, like, a particular kind of, like, uh, feeling to them that makes them fun. The Resident Evil movies? I've only seen the first two of them, which... I think, again, like with Saw 1, I remember renting Resident Evil 1 on DVD and seeing the second one in theaters. With my mom. I feel bad for making her watch that. I'd love Retribution? Which one is that? I think I watched one of the latter ones on some random streaming service at one point, but I can't remember. Uh, I, I think the one that I watched, it started on like a boat. But I can't remember anything that happened in it at all. A personal computer. The image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. She has low opinion of his computer skills. 
Helen must be like a computer whiz or something. <clears throat> there are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. Hmm. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I really shouldn't look inside. No, you should. I wonder if there's anything else. Like a key? Can we get out of here? Oh. A key is inside the drawer. You now have the collection room key. I'm sure the collection room's in the back. Okay. Great. Finally some progress. Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay, so maybe I did watch Retribution. I just can't remember anything that happened in it. And yeah, I made I made my mom go to see Resident Evil 2 in theaters. I made her go to see uh the Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead remake. Um I made her go to see Return of the King and she's like a really normal person. She didn't have it she had no idea what to make of any of this shit. She was just like I don't know. Like, God bless her for taking me, but I feel kind of bad. I also made her watch uh Day of the Dead. <laughs> the John Romero movie way back at the time. And she was like, I'm concerned about you watching all these scary movies. Now I can enter the collection room. What a nerd. Computer was a photocopier or otaku. Sounds like my kind of girl. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times, but this time it's pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? Uh, I could use the light from it. Can I use my flashlight? I guess not. <laughs> What's the point of the flashlight then? Oh, okay. Oh, nice! Some beautiful lighting. Mr. Sullivan probably kept it here. That's what the statue looks like? <laughs> statue is together with the other artifacts. Thank goodness, there it is. You now have the statue. Since I have what I came for, now all I have to do is find a way out. Yeah, every time Scissor Man shows up, all the doors lock. It's just a standard like security system. There are many ancient swords, strangely shaped pots, and other valuable artifacts. Okay. What's this? You must be kidding me. I cannot fucking believe this shit. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> this is the best game I've ever played. I don't know. Let's get out of here. Are you talking about the Zack Snyder cut of whatever that movie was? Where they posted that picture of the guy that looked like the graphics card, uh... Graphics card mascot with all the weird blades on him or whatever? I would never watch that, but I can- I can respect your enthusiasm. <laughs> I liked seeing that picture. I think about that pretty often. Just how ridiculous that render of that guy looked. <laughs> okay. Just easy enough. There's always like, I don't know, they must have built this into the game in an attempt to like stop you from getting soft lock, but it seems like in every area there's like one place that you can just like guaranteed run away to to get away from Scissor Man. FYI, we will never play. We will never play Clock Tower 2. I watched somebody play through that entire game one time, and every enemy that appears, the only way that you can deal with them is you have to run to the nearest fire extinguisher, which sometimes takes several minutes to run to, and then they walk up to it, and then you hit them with the fire extinguisher and, like, defeat them. And that's it. That's how you have to deal with every enemy in the entire game of Clock Tower 2, which sounds kind of amusing, but... 
I feel like that would get pretty tiresome pretty fast. Scissorman wants me to escape. Yeah, it's just the game to him. Like, you know, like he thinks that I'm in on it. And that's why when he goes into lunge with the scissors, like, you know, he's actually surprised that we're not dodging out of the way. What about the Bonkers Clock Tower 3? I would consider it. I've played a little bit of Clock Tower 3. I've seen a whole playthrough of it, so it wouldn't be quite as exciting as this where I've actually I have seen almost none of it. How were all those giant stone statues carried in here? All right, so there's nothing else in here, I guess. Clock Tower 3 seems uh, interesting though. I like the cutscene direction in it a lot and uh, the crazy fucking villains in it. <laughs> Uh. Alright, so what was even the point of going in there? We got the statue, but to what end? Like, we need a key or like some other way to get out of here, right? Just a trash can. Can we find, like, tools? Everything's normal here. Okay, okay. Yeah, Scissorman's just... he's just too rowdy. He doesn't know that it's wrong. You know, he's just looking for somebody who wants to play the same way that he wants to. It's not his fault. I'm gonna save. We need to find, like, a screwdriver or something. I know I don't know what we're, like, looking for, but... <sighs> Alright, we've already been here, like, a number of times. Just checking it one more time to see if there's any tools or anything in here. Just none of Mr. Sullivan's body, which I guess Scissor Man just, like, you know, chopped up and put in his pockets or something for later. Maybe, maybe it was considered, like, too distasteful to, like, leave a dismembered body just, like, lying around in the game. I don't know. Oh, let's check in on, uh, Edward. I keep wanting to call him Bobby, because that's the name of Scissorman in the first game. Edward should be hiding under the table. Even if only him, he must escape from here. Okay. I'm kind of at a loss for what to do. It's another one of those points like uh in Rick's house where I kind of like didn't didn't really think that we could open those curtains to the rabid dog that we had to throw the the what was it? Like laundry soap? We like threw laundry soap in a dog's eyes as a puzzle. <laughs> that was really fucked up. So I wonder what uh what will be our laundry soap in the dog's eyes moment for this section. I really hope there's something at the end of all this fucking wandering around. Something to make it worth it. Well, I would say Scissor Man pretending to be a statue is like well worth it. There are many encyclopedias. Yep. I don't have time to read these books. Okay. Yep, yep. Alright. Is there what am I looking for? <laughs> what am I what do I want to find? A magazine. Yep. Alright. I guess I'm just gonna check downstairs again and see if we can find any like screwdriver or something. Like, okay. Oh. <laughs> Many policemen are swarming around outside, looking for a way in. 
there's so many people just on the other side of the door. Yeah? Okay, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> it's kind of giving me a headache. Can we use the computer to, to instant message the, the police and tell them we can't open the door? No. Yeah, there is a policeman infestation worldwide. <laughs> Typing 999 into AOL. <laughs> Isn't AIM like dead now? It's just like com completely gone. That's kind of sad to think about. What are we supposed to do? Like, I'm pretty amazed that the police, like, can't... A screwdriver! What? Why didn't she get that the first time? Did I just, like, completely miss that desk? That seems preposterous. I'm pretty sure I checked every, every desk the first time around, but... Whatever you say, Clock Tower. Alright, let's go open the vents so we can send little Edward into the vents. Here, Edward, you go climb into the industrial fan inside the vents. It'll be fine. You have to do this for me, Edward. Come on now, Edward. Don't be afraid. You have to crawl into this, this hole that's barely larger than your body in complete and total darkness. It's It'll be fine, Edward. It's okay. It's better than being caught by Scissor Man, don't you know? There could be rats in there, but don't worry. Alright, Edward. No, I gotta open it first, probably, or else it'll just say, Edward should be hiding under the desk. Yep. <laughs> Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. <laughs> See you later. What? Like, what is she basing the assumption that that goes to the outside on? Like, I don't know. I guess it's a video game. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be being all uh, picking it apart. All right, all right, let's go. Let's move it. Ugh. Now, <laughs> she sleeps in her business clothes. She's not a rational woman. I don't know. I sleep in my clothes a lot. If I'm going to take a nap on the couch, you know. Uh oh. Oh, that's just the cops. Okay. Hey, Teach. What's going on? Oh, that's what this guy sounds like? Teach, hang in there. <laughs> I thought he was gonna have like a southern accent from the way he was talking earlier. You slept in jeans in bed, or do you like to admit? I'd say that's kind of deranged. Hey, we actually... Wait, did we pass two scenarios before? Was, was uh, Rick's house like the third scenario as Jennifer? Are we gonna get another ending here? Fuck, how many people does Scissor Man want to kill? Alright, Teach, that's enough questioning. Now he believes in Scissor Man. You can go on home now. No, no, we gotta talk more, Gots. Gots, I've learned something interesting about Scissor Man. You've got something? Yes, I know where the Barrow's Castle is. Oh, yeah, the Barrow's Castle. Yes, it's where the Barrow's family used to live. Before they immigrated here. Go on. I looked further and found a historical account saying that a monster was born in the castle. They say they must have somehow killed Scissorin back then. Good point. So, I'm planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous? Question mark? As long as he's alive, we aren't safe anywhere. Dot dot dot. <laughs> dot dot dot. Alright, 
but one thing. What's that? I'm going with you, okay? Gots. I kind of like when it's like a horror story and it's like something completely ridiculous and uh, they get like some cop in on it and you know that if it was real life they would just like lose their job over the insanity of what they're doing. Hold on, I have to go to the bathroom again so I'll be right back.
Ah, <sighs> okay, I'm back. You just got the stream alert for this stream? That's incredible. We are, like, just crossed four hours and 20 minutes. God's number. And it took that long for the alert to come up? Weird. I don't know what's up with that, but... Welcome back. Thank you. I need to remember to drink more. I didn't time your PRTA, but I did crack open the last of your birthday wine. Okay, great. <laughs> We're both drinking wine then. Normally I don't have to pee this often, but between the wine and the hydration from drinking the wine, drinking water so I don't get a hangover. You talking about your birthday wine to me yesterday made me really want some white wine. Hey, my boss says I can go with you to England. He was really sarcastic about it though. <laughs> That's it. We came all the way to the police station just for that. That's incredible. I think Jennifer says something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I keep remembering. I keep forgetting to take the... The P, the P loca uh, notification off. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. <laughs> Shit. You have good timing. Hey, it's what's this guy's name? Tim? How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you are going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. <laughs> the assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So it was a pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. <laughs> I want to talk to Tim. How about it? May we join you? I don't mind, but I don't know if Gots will like it. Hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. <laughs> All right. See you at the airport first thing in the morning. Wow, we're getting our whole party together. How can we lose against Scissor Man now? Piss trick shots with graphite, hello. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to think of games where you can pee. And the only ones I can think of are Crypt Worlds and. Uh, South Park, the N64 game. <laughs> Edward seems to have come back safely. Oh, and Death Stranding, of course! How could I forget Death Stranding? That's the piss game of the century. <laughs> my favorite game, South Park 64, yes. <laughs> it's on my mind all day and every night. <laughs> I almost want to play it now, even though I hate South Park. <laughs> Edward, thank heaven you're alright. Yes, thank you, Miss Maxwell. Man, look at his face. Thank you very much, Miss Maxwell. Yep. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere. <laughs> there might be danger. Oh, I see. We're going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we're going to a castle called the Barrow's Castle. We are hoping to find some clues about Scissor Man. May I go too? Edward, what are you saying? He will probably kill me too if I stay here. I want to go along and help. Edward, that is. Please, Kate. Well, alright, that. Why would you let him do this? <laughs> Stupid. Please look after him, Miss Maxwell. You're supposed to be his guardian. Well, all right. We'll be the first flight tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> South Park Yaoi is good though. Yeah, I respect that there's like a small fandom like that is just obsessed with that. <laughs> I remember one of my friends telling me there was like an entire episode about that on South Park. Postal? Yeah, actually, you know, 
I've always been kind of like morbidly curious about playing one of the Postal games because I remember playing the demo of Postal 2 like many, many years ago. And just like, even at the time, I was like, man, this game is broken as fuck. I must have been like, when did that game come out? Like 2001? Something? I, a, I was like maybe like 12 years old or something. I was like, wow, this game is fucked up. Not not just like in content, like edgy. It's like it was a piece of shit. It was just like totally broken. Where when do you pee in Yakuza? Can't remember that. Every day you think about this one video from an Indian news YouTube channel from ten years ago about snails invading a small town, about how kids can't focus on school because the snails are too interesting. Yeah, that's me. If there were snails all over me in school, that would be it. I would just drop out. I'd just go live with the snails. General public is still should not be allowed to enter. Okay. I I kind of feel like Postal 2 is not really a game that would benefit very much from playing like the entire game, but I don't know. Maybe we'll play Postal 2 someday against my better judgment. We've just been to the scene of the murder. What a terrible thing to have happen. Yes, but one good thing came out of it. Now I know where the Barrows used to live. In England, before immigrating. Here. Yeah, people are dead, Helen. I suppose that is where his home is. Yes, and I think. I'll find some clues about him there. Okay. So what are you going to do now? I would like to go to England tomorrow. May I? Hmm, alright then, but our research staff will go with you. God, everybody's going. We may discover some material that will be important in the future. I suppose that will be okay. Very well then, I'll go get ready. Okay, God, everybody is coming with us. This is kind of weird. Uh, I guess Jennifer is the last one we should talk to. I wonder if we're just going to pick up somebody from, like, every building. Uh, some parts of this game really drag, but it's starting to, it's, like, picking up now. Overall, I'd say this has been really fun so far. Oh, there's Jennifer. Helen, are you alright? Yes, I was able to get the statue. And I found a clue. Right. The inspector told me about going to the Barrow's Castle. Is this Scots? Oh, suddenly we've got 10 people going to England. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Criminy, this is supposed to be serious business. I think everybody just wants to go on vacation. I've contacted the police in England and I've also arranged a rental car from the airport. Thank you, Guts. We're coming to get you, Scissor Man. <laughs> this time you'll be doing the running. Hell yeah, this is awesome. Wait, I didn't get to go to Rick's house, though. Oh, oh, Rick. Rick. I wanted to talk to Rick again. <laughs> what is that? Is that supposed to be a plane? Cool. Augers, we're going to England. Sun is going down. Driving through the English countryside, like off-roading, I guess. It will be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Okay, so we're just camping now? Now it's backwoods horror? Cool. <laughs> Strange, where's Jennifer? Wow, look at those fucking photo bushes. Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. What happened to our flashlight? Our pliers? Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. The castle, hurry! What? <laughs> Last scenario, Scissor Man! Oh my god, we're closing in on the end of the game. I wonder if we're going to get, like, a good ending this time. That would be a nice turnaround from getting the the E ending the very first time. Teach. Everyone's waiting. 
Oh, yes. What? <laughs> Ooh, what happened? Oh, we have all of our items back. Okay, the floor just collapsed. There's a gaping hole and no way to get across. Yeah, the police in England. I like how vague that is. They're just going to call all of the police in England. It's at least... Uh, Good that Rick is safe, though. Here, I'm going to save. I know that I said I was going to save uh, over the, or uh, save before the decisions in the Barton intro, but I'm going to make, I'm going to save over one of those just so that uh, we can go back and I don't know if talking to Rick or anybody would maybe like affect the, oh, like the endings or anything. Guess we're gonna finally put an end to Scissor Man. That sounded like the AIM door closing sound effect. <laughs> cool. This is. Check out this door with like a padlock the size of a briefcase on it. There's a massive padlock on the door. Does not look like it will open. Yeah. Whoa, the way the camera pans around. Anyone there? Jennifer? Are you there, Jennifer? Helen? Helen? Jennifer! Oh, it's no use. The door won't open. Hold on, Jennifer, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. The cadence on a lot of these line reads is like very unusual. Hmm. Wonder whose this is. A small handprint is plainly visible on the table surface. Yeah, everybody knows, like, you know, old English kings were known for their fascination with, like, ever increasing padlocks. Just, they have to get bigger and bigger. Have to outdo the size of the padlock of the lord the next uh barony over i guess that would be the baron the next barony over but they all look alike okay <clears throat> portraits of the heirs okay a cabinet it's empty okay I like that green. Looks nice. Kind of mossy. A badly stained sofa. Well, scratch that. The game says it's nasty. <laughs> he just came out like Santa Claus. Alright. Go, go! I gotta find a bathroom to hide in. Uh, well. <gasps> Wait, that was way too fast. <laughs> That's bullshit. Ah, <sighs> all right. Oh, I should have checked the hints. We did get hint number seven. Uh, back in the library. Damn. Oh well. I mean, I'm sure we'll get killed fast enough. Well, hey, this was a bathroom at one point, so we did avoid Scissor Man by going into a bathroom. I mean, it looks like a bathroom. Did I remember the star? Have we seen the star plate yet that that hint mentioned? Like, still, uh, I don't believe that we have seen anything that could be described as a star plate. 
kind of wondering when that's ever going to show up. I'm sure it'll be uh, very fascinating when it does. Maybe it's a social experiment? Uh, it could be. You know, sometimes like these old games will give you like weird contradictory information. You know, or like completely false statements, like maybe as a result of like a bad translation or something. Everything seems normal. I don't know about that. You need to buy Starplate from the secret shop to snowball late game because it makes your alt way stronger. Yeah. Starplate does sound like a late game item from like an RPG or something. Cool. It's a nice little creepy scare. Can I look at that thing? I don't know. It's just that table again. So that was just for just for ambiance. For a little little scary effect. There's something on the table. It's a key, yeah. You now have the mansion key. Where would you use a mansion key in a castle? Wait, I should check the fireplace. A chimney that Santa might come out of. No, no. We already know. Santa will not be coming out of there. Because Scissor Man already killed him. Scissor Man cut Santa up into 15 different pieces. There's a lot of doors in this place. Jeez. Uh, bed? Hmm. A book is on the bed. You know, just tucking your books in for the night. Cover up this book. It's made of copper. You now have the copper book. Cool. Can I read it? I guess not. Anything else to be done with the bed? Can we take the sheets off and throw them on Scissor Man? A badly stained sheet. This is dirtier than a cheap hotel. Hey, cheap hotels are usually pretty clean still. Cabinet covered with dust. Some books. There are many books yellowed with age. <gasps> what am I supposed to do? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah? Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> uh... What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I really like how the game started off kind of like having these hints like, oh, is Harris really? Is Harris S Scissor Man? Is Edward Scissor Man? Is Dr. Barton Scissor Man? Is, is, uh, are all these other people Scissor Man? No, a Scissor Man is real and so is a severed, you know, animated hand. If Helen is the protagonist in the last scenario, be very careful of the item she has given by Harris if she uses it. What does that mean? You can't just say that. This game is amazing. <laughs> I'm really glad that I finally decided to actually play this all the way through. Because, oh my god. Alright, let's uh, be careful of that. Oh, we don't have the book. We gotta get that again. Let's be careful of that desk. With a secret hand in it. It's like, it's a really specific hint, but it's also like, really vague. You now have the copper book. Okay. It's a pretty, pretty amazing game. Wasn't I going to check bird website stuff? Yes, hold on. I was going to do that. Let me open my browser real quick. I completely forgot. Twitter. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, wonderful. Here, let me save this to my desktop. Um. <laughs> Thank goodness. These are both amazing. Thank you so much. Hold on, I'm gonna put them on screen real quick. <clears throat> All right, please let this work. Streamlabs, why won't you let me do it? Mm -hmm. I'll add manually image. Add source. Huh? Why can't I just like uh, add a new source instead? Yeah, there we go. Desktop. Can I add two at once? Yes. No. Oh, no, I can't. First, we have this from No Stunts. Who did Photoshop Beats headphones onto Scissor Man because his Beats headphones are leaking that acid bass sound, which is why we can always hear him coming. Also, this is what this is the the art for Scissor Man. I guess this is why they keep saying like he's a monster, like he couldn't he couldn't possibly be like a normal man because he like looks like a little corpse guy. Nobody looks like that. Thank you very much, no stunts, <laughs> for making my dream come true. All right, we also have this from Augersley. Thank you for giving me a sip of your Arby's drink. If only I could have had some of that high quality Arby's beef to go with it, then my dreams would really come true. <laughs> I could go for some soda right now, actually. <laughs> some Coke Zero. <laughs> Quality beef juice? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, that just makes me think of like uh the super savory like, you know like. Oh, my mouth is watering thinking about eating like steak or something right now. <laughs> when you said beef juice, I was thinking about like I don't know all the mysterious liquids that come out of steak when you eat it. Oh, we already looked in here, right? Um, I don't know if I can defeat that hand. <laughs> Arby's beef drink? That sounds like something from like Invader Zim or something. I'm sure that there must be some episode of Invader Zim where they like mention like a drink that is made of meat or something like that. All right, I'm gonna leave the hand, the evil hand, you know, just just for now. Because I don't think that we have anything that can kill Evil Hand. So we'll just remember that. Evil Hand is in the door is in the door that looks like rotting wooden like pirate ship planks. Okay? I'm glad that they at least like distinguish these doors from each other. Even though it seems ridiculous to have like a pointy door like that. Whoa! This is beautiful. Mmm, look at that acid green water. Many of the leagues look diseased. Great. And check each individual tree. Wonder where the water is draining from. That's a good question. I wonder if you like collect water from here later or something. This is cool. Those trees remind me of Kingsfield for some reason. Like the uh... A valve is buried in the ground. Seems to be the valve that drained the fountain. Yeah. Can we turn it? Alright, maybe we need to have like a particular item to do that or something. Okay, um, I feel like this is going to lead around to like the hallway on the other side of the castle. Kingsfield Shadow Tower stream would be so pog. I would like to. I've played the, I've played uh, Kings, Kingsfield 2 by the Japanese numbering. I've played that a couple of times. It's one of my favorite games. And uh, 
I did try to stream, before I was a VTuber, I tried to stream Kingsfield 4 and uh, ran into some pretty dire problems where like areas just like wouldn't load anymore. I still, I would like to play Kingsfield 2 one day, or Kingsfield 3 by the Japanese numbering, but it's just, uh, never seems to work out. Yes? Oh my god. We're gonna put the pan over Scissorman's head and beat it with, like, a spoon. He's gonna get really disoriented. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank god. Have I tried Shower Shadow Tower 1? Yeah, I actually do have that on PS3. Um... I guess I might as well just go back into that room. I've I've played Shadow Tower quite a bit. I got uh I got like a pretty decent ways into Shadow Tower, but I don't know. It's a little frustrating. I don't know. It has this weird quality to it that I just kind of don't like it as much as the Kingsfield games, even though it is very compelling in its own way. I just I don't know. It's just a copy of Blue Shift. Yeah, I think anybody would be disappointed by that. I don't think I've ever finished Blue Shift before. <laughs> Put up a big fake painting of a door and make him run into it. That would work on Scissor Man. Based on everything that we've seen so far. Oof. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm not even really bothered by like how hard uh, Shadow Tower is. It's just that... I don't know, something about the way the lay the areas are laid out are kind of like frustrating to me. A stew pot. What's that on the floor? That looks significant. Are you sure we can't look at that game? Okay. Whatever. I guess we'll check out this like brick pizza oven or something. They're probably cockroaches, but they're cute. I think cockroaches are kind of cute personally. It's not nice when you have them in your like, you know, in your pantry or whatever, but garbage can the inside stained black. A frying pan looks very heavy. Seems like there's a lot of like potential ways to hurt Scissor Man in this room. I've played a little bit of Shadow Tower Abyss. Uh, I did like it, but I uh, I always get to... There's like some part where there's like ants. What? Who, who even is this? Oh, it's Harris. Don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? No. Oh well, it's a good-looking place anyway. Quite relaxing. Relax. What? That's not what he said. What are you saying? Scissorman is lurking around here somewhere. <laughs> it's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. <laughs> what an asshole. Because he is after you. <laughs> just kill this guy. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. What a freak. I wonder which door it opens. <laughs> yeah, I wonder too. <laughs> You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> Thanks, Harris. God. Oh. That's what the hint was warning us about. He gave us a key. So we have to be careful about... How we use that key, huh? <sighs> I knew I was right to not like that guy. He's weird. Anyway, Shadow Tower Abyss. I did like it. I really like the weird combat system where you like uh, flick the stick in different directions. Wait, where did he go? He walked into this room and disappeared. Yeah, we all know that Scissor Man doesn't just like, you know, kill everyone in every building that he enters. Square board has been fit into the floor. Oh. 
okay, well, I guess we're just not going to, like, make any note of the fact that Harris walked in here and disappeared. Some cans have fallen on the floor. Question mark. Seems to be a switch at the back of the shelf. Oh, okay. Rove some kind of brown, dried up brown things? I wonder what these used to be. Rick's death was an unrelated incident, and the clock tower beheading was a murder by a different guy. Yeah, I mean, it's plausible. I guess you can't really prove. Like, none of us saw Scissorman do those things. Harris might be the phantasmic entity? What does that mean? Oh, I thought you were speaking of a specific phantasmic entity. Wait, don't spoil anything about Umineko. I'm going to play it eventually. After I, after I finish, uh, um, my brain is scrambled. I almost said Hidamari's sketch, but I already watched that. Uh, Higurashi, yeah. <laughs> Wine barrels. Yeah, you're right. It's not a crime if nobody sees it. That's how speeding works. There are many bottles of wine. Something smells sour. Oh, there's probably a dead person in here or something. As is always the case in Clock Tower, there's always some corpse somewhere in a shelf or like, you know, in a sheet or sitting in a chair. Can we go behind the shelf? Uh, is there anything I can like do? Just, like, is there a point to this room? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hitamari when they cry. Yeah, I would like to see all of the Hitamari girls like involved in I don't know, murder and psychological mind games. Okay, what's the point of this? Why can't I go back there? Uh, come on now. Yeah, I want them all to be safe too. I like every character in Hitamari Sketch, including the weird principal who makes like a cartoon teeth chattering noise every time he's on screen because he's old uh oh what was that sound yeah what was that sound did something happen in that room at first, I found the principal kind of irritating, but over time I started to find him like funnier and funnier. To the point that like every time he came on screen, I was like hysterical. Oh, yep, of course. Alright, yeah, let's go up the ladder. He's gonna chop my feet off. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Can we lock him in there? Yep, alright. Not a problem anymore. Wait, but there might be an item down there. <laughs> he wants just one toe? Nah. Maybe if he asks nicely. I'm not giving any feet pics to Caesar Man. I'm gonna go back down there actually, because anytime. Scissor Man is in like a location. It seems like he's guarding something. There might be like a note or something. Like a hint. Little hintlet. Caesar Man. <laughs> okay, well, I guess there's like nothing nothing going on down here. This is becoming like more and more Scooby Doo as time goes on. You know, it might be fun to play the Scooby Doo Super Nintendo game. I used to really like that as a kid, but I could never get past the second level, and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I always remember there's like a there was like two Scooby Doo games that I can remember. There's like one that was like a point and click game that was kind of uh, almost felt like a Lucas Arts game. And there was another one that was like a weird, it was like a platformer. I just remember the uh, the villains moved around like extremely fast and it scared the hell out of me as a little kid. 
Play Garfield Labyrinth? What is that? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this like a Garfield dungeon crawler? I would play a Garfield dungeon crawler. All right, so we're back here. I'm getting kind of confused in this layout. It's what the real Ghostbusters game was in the EU. Uh, I'm not familiar with the real Ghostbusters game at all. Uh, how are you talking about stunts? <laughs> Garfield Kingsfield clone? Sure. I would love that. Garfsfield. <laughs> it implies the existence of a fake Ghostbusters game. Wasn't there... What is the real Ghostbusters? The real Ghostbusters is what Mickey Mouse for a Maho no Labyrinth was called in America. Ah, yes. Wait. Oh my god, I keep getting turned around. What? I remember Extreme Ghostbusters. Uh-oh. I can like distinctly remember ending up on like websites where people were drawing like uh, fan art of like extreme Ghostbusters on my mom's computer back one million years ago. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. All right, let's try and find somewhere to get away from this guy. This castle is like too big. <laughs> I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Where can we hide? Uh, I like that evil monk's choir patch. Uh, I wish we could uh, open up that drawer with the hand in it and turn the hand on scissor man make them fight each other that'd be fun am i running in circles i i feel like i am uh getting a little turned around in here I know, we haven't been through this door yet as far as i know holy fuck <laughs> oh we have a prompt okay Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Scissor Man certainly couldn't come back from that. <laughs> uh, did we go through this door? Hmm. 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 Oh yeah, we did. What have we got now? We have all these items, but I kind of like don't... We haven't gone to the second floor yet, though. So why don't we... Hmm... No, we already went in there. Let's go back out. Let's go to the second floor and see what we can find. We also have that key from Harris, but I'm kind of hesitant to use it because of that hint. Be careful how you use it. Alright, let's save, actually. And then we'll see... We'll see if we can find something that Harris's key will open. He's really suspicious, but... You know, I think that maybe that's a red herring. Because I remember some parts of Night Cry where they kind of were like, Oh, this creepy guy is trying to help you, but it's maybe he's not actually bad. I don't think anyone here cares about spoilers for Night Cry. I hope not. Alright, so this key doesn't work on that. Again, if anybody here was not here when I was talking about Nightcry earlier, you should really check out Super Great Friends Let's Play of Nightcry, because that's a real trip. If you're enjoying this game, Nightcry is like a like hardcore Kusoge version of this. I think that uh, they were originally going to make it just a mobile game, but then they released the PC version of Nightcry to like make more money to try and fund the, the mobile game's development, and then uh, it was a huge disaster. 
I think that they like had this like huge all star cast of like staff on it. Like they said that Masahiro Ito was gonna like design the monsters and like kind of kind of questionable. Maybe he like wasn't involved at all. All kinds of stuff. I think that uh, Michiru Yamane was also. Springs look like they're ready to poke through. It was also said that she was gonna do the music, and then there was like no music in the game at all. All right, thank you for coming, Cerebro. It was great to have you. Oh, he just came from behind a painting. Great. <laughs> See you later. Hope you have a good day. We hide under the bed? Yes! Oh. It's too low to hide under. Okay. Ah! Uh, no! I can't do anything! Okay. Well, let's hope that it uh, loads at like a, a spot where we're not like boxed in. Ah! <sighs> Uh oh. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> We're going to defeat Scissor Man with a sheet once again. His most fatal weakness. <laughs> uh. I love this game so much. <laughs> this is like top 10 games material for me. It's pretty rare that you come across a game with this kind of clown energy. The whole Scissor Man came out of is open. I wonder where this leads to. Yeah, why don't we find out? You could climb through it. It's kind of like in Resident Evil 4 when that guy pops out of that like oven, then you check it afterwards and Leon says, what was he doing in there? Portrait of a woman. She almost looks alive. Did we already check this table? Nothing but dust. Yeah, that's how my apartment is too. Broken down sofa. Springs look clearly. They're ready to poke through. Okay. There's a surrounding fence. The gate is locked. Let's see if Harris's key works on this thing. Okay. Yes! I just want to see, like, what... What does this do? Oh, we didn't check that cabinet though. There's a passageway with a ladder inside the chimney. Okay. Crawling in there would give me the creeps. So is she like refusing to do that? All right, we can't check that cabinet at any rate. Um... Oh, okay, we will go in there. Well, at least we have the save from beforehand. was that? The cosmetics case is locked and will not open. Does the key work on that? Let's see. No, nothing. A tattered and frayed Bible. Uh oh. Uh. Well, what am I supposed to do about that now? Nonsense. Okay. Okay. Let's 
clear like a time limit on this room before Scissorman comes in. Okay, so just checking that at all makes Scissorman come out. So let's just like uh over to the next room. Just don't worry about that weird lumpy statue for now. Scissorman can have it for all I care. Uh, library. Okay. These look like documents made here. Okay, great. What's this? You've discovered hint number 10. Hint number 10. We're getting very close to having all 10 hints. There are many books on religion from around the world. What a collection, but now is no time to admire it. Hey, we saw this stack of books in uh that first ending that we got. There are many books, but thick books, but none stand out. But we have that copper book. You're proud of me? Thank you. We're all doing it together. We got all the hints together. I won't be satisfied until we have every hint. Um, uh, let's see. What a collection! All right, no, no, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. Those are some big ass books. Books are stacked up. Look at like each of those books is so tall. Like compared to her body, those are like two and a half feet tall, at the very least. Some pretty wild books. Maybe they're like uh, old texts from like a monastery or something. Like if you ever watched The Color of Pomegranates, there's that part where they put all those books out on the roof of the monastery. Crazy stuff. Maybe they're just bigger in my memory. Ooh. <gasps> Jennifer's been crucified! Should I do? Uh. Jennifer! Jennifer! Oh, why? No! What was I supposed to be doing? <laughs> no! Uh, what a bummer. Cool room, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you were like a big Jennifer fan or anything. Uh, where did we come in from? Oh, I guess the only way out is through this door. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer who? She hasn't really been in the game in uh, Helen's uh, route at all. Yeah. I only know Rick as well. Who cares about anybody else? Ooh, that stench. The room is permeated with the smell of blood. Nice. Smells good. There are blood stains all over it. Okay, some some little tools. There are chains hanging from the walls. Many people have probably been put in these chains. What are you basing that assumption off of? I mean, there is a lot of blood in this room, but like, there's a lot of blood in one person. Torture instruments. This is the first time I've seen the real thing. I like how this room has like an Iron Maiden and like a two spiked rolling pins and like a wall of spikes. It's like whoever put this together is just really into spikes more than anything else. This person's deviant art if they had been born a few years, a few, few dozen years later, it would be all spikes everywhere. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing to be done in here. Uh, what are we supposed to be doing? 
Jennifer was kill. Oh, so we got a cutscene now. Oh. There are rows of pews. Just what kind of people came here? People who worship murder. See, it's a twisted cross. A symbol of twisted religion. Pretty fucked up if you ask me. Whoa. Yeah, every time somebody dies in this game, their body just kind of disappears. <laughs> it's kind of weird, isn't it? A caricature of a relig religious fresco is painted on the wall. What makes you think it's a caricature? It just looks like a normal religious fresco to me. Um, Where did we come in from? Sometimes I wish this game had a map. I mean, mainly since we got to this gigantic castle, but... Yeah, I don't know what makes her think it's like a like a parody of like a fresco. It's kind of a strange, strange reaction. Oh, we already have been in here. Okay. So we already know that we can use those books to defeat Scissor Man, because it seemed to show that in the you know the ending that we got after Jennifer after we Rick's Rick's fatal passing, tragic passage. Uh, there was like that ending sequence and it showed somebody pushing a stack of books over onto scissor man so i guess let's keep that in mind you can't see it but i'm tapping my head oh okay so that's where jennifer was um so uh, what are we gonna do now still don't know what to do with the copper book uh huh <sighs> Oh yeah, you're right. Rick is just fine in this timeline. His dog that definitely does not have rabies. And nobody has thrown laundry soap into his dog's eyes. <laughs> I forgot to put on makeup today. Who would give a shit about that? You're on the trail of Scissor Man. I would like to sleep in a bed like this sometime. It's like an old, dirty bed. You're a freak. <laughs> I would like to sleep in a bed like this sometime. Yeah, I really can't believe that was the solution, is to throw laundry soap in a dog's eyes. That's like probably the most fucked up thing I've done in any game. That's including playing Undertale Murder Root. I think that throwing laundry soap in a dog's eyes is more fucked up than killing Undine. There's something in the mouse hole. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Stick your hand in there. There's a key in the mouse hole. You now have library key. Okay. Uh. I never had any interest in it, and then, I don't know, I was feeling really rotten. There was a period where I was feeling really rotten. I was feeling really mean. And I was like, I'm just going to play this. I hate everybody. I just want to kill all my favorite Undertale characters. And 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 I just I'm lashing out at the world. And then I played it. And I couldn't beat Sans. Some of the boss fights are fun, though. Like The Sans fight is pretty fun. And uh, Undine is pretty fun. And I don't know. It's an interesting, different perspective on the game. It made me appreciate a lot of the characters more. I know it's cringe to talk about Undertale in 2021, but I don't know. I still like it. <laughs> even though the world is inundated with uh, too much Undertale. Still, even now. There's some unknown cryptic symbols on the surface. Someone has been reading some books about demonology. Hey, that looks like somebody sitting in a chair dead body. There's some words carved in the desktop. Oh, it's just a chair. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. What did they mean by this? That's a pretty, uh, you know, when they say roaring fire. This is what they mean. I wonder who lit the fire. I don't think it was Scissorman. <laughs> 
Just really not confident in Scissor Man's ability to light a fire. Stunts, you have a fireplace in your house? That's cool. I wish I had a fireplace. My apartment is cold as hell, but they also, they kind of make me nervous because it's like a fire hazard, you know? Some books on alchemy. Oh, okay. I didn't get to read that. I'd like to take some of these with me. Hey, we can get to that. Stand on that, that shaky old furniture. It'll be fine. Letterbox is on the shelf. wonder if there's something inside. Why don't you climb up and get it? Oh. A small wooden box is inside. Strange, it sounds like something is in this box, but there's no way to open it. There's a rattling sound, but there's no way to take the object out. Okay. You now have the wooden box. When I was a little kid, I used to really like to, um... I would sit with my back to the fireplace, like I would sit on the hearth. Uh-oh. No time for that right now. Oh, he's just right here. Oh, uh, no. Uh, what are we gonna do? You've never played Undertale? That's fine. You don't have to play it. You've probably, like, uh, when carrying the box that can't be opened, you need to do something fairly drastic to get at the contents. I was thinking you probably need to throw it in the fire, right? But anyway, you've probably, like, uh, absorbed of enough of uh, Undertale by osmosis that, you know, it's not really even necessary to, like, play the, play the game itself. Who cares? <laughs> it's pretty casual about it, even with Scissor Man right there. Uh, can I do anything about this? Come on. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's kind of like the most like sp spoilered game of all time. Uh, can I do anything against Scissor Man? I feel like I'm fucked again. No, I don't know what to do. I think I'm screwed. Let's uh, let's try going back through the door. <laughs> you need to do something fairly drastic, like loading the game. Seems like it might be the case. I don't even know. I don't even know why it bothers like showing uh, the flashing cursor, because it doesn't seem like Helen is able to to fight back against him. Well, I think that we're soft locked, so I'm gonna have to uh, load my save, which is fine, because then that means that Jennifer won't be dead. You know, I don't really care about getting every ending. Like, I'm okay with like. Uh, I want to get like the A endings for both like roots and then <sighs> like I don't know if you if you want to see the other ones you can just like YouTube them that's probably what I would do How did we get into that other that other wing? Oh yeah, that's right. We got the key from this room. The key from the mouse. I found some like uh Ending D, Scissorman is destroyed by fire jets and covers the earth in white chlorination syndrome. What the fuck are you talking about? Is this a Drakengard reference? Okay, yes, Helen. That's fine. I still- I want to play Drakengard someday. <laughs> and also, uh, I'd like to play the first Nier. Oh, a newspaper dated 1912, the same year the Barrows immigrated from England. Okay. I should stream Dragon Card? I don't know about that. Seems like kind of a drag. A drag on Dragoon. That's the Japanese title of the game.
Yeah, I like the sound of it. It sounds cool. Um, I just, I don't know. <laughs> is it, uh, is it fun? Like, is it, would it be interesting to watch, like, for, for, like, the average human? Like, I'm not really cared, of, I don't really care about, uh, you know, like, the broad appeal of my stream, because I mostly just want, you know, to choose games based on what I'm interested in, but... I just remember one of my friends telling me that, like, the first level of Drakengard is, like, running around outside of a castle killing endless guys while, like, a, like, ten second loop of music played. I feel like a lot of people would tap out after just, like, a few moments of that. It's a rollicking good time? Augursley, you think it would be? Well, I'll consider it, I guess. All the music is 10 seconds of orchestra, uh, 10 second loops of orchestra hits. Well, that could be a fun time. I've always heard that the music is cool. I've always been curious about, uh, Dragon Guard 3 as well. Okay, is there anything in here to get? Dragon Guard 3 is South Park 64 2? <laughs> what did he mean by this? I've seen I've seen uh bits of it. Like I know there's like that dragon that like pisses everywhere. It's like the dragon, like the first thing that happens is like like uh what's her name? Zero? She like yells at the dragon and it starts pissing everywhere. You bought Dragon Guard 3 and your PS3 immediately died. Maybe there's a connection there. <laughs> there's the one funny bit. What's that? Oh no. I don't really like stuff that like yeah. there's like one joke and they just keep repeating it. Like I've been watching Nana and Biori and it seems like they are really divided between uh like being a uh, more sincere anime and like just forcing the characters into the same joke like for every scene. Uh, I can't help but wonder if I might find something to like about Dragon Guard Three still. <laughs> yeah, Nyapasu. I really, I really do like. I like Nyambiori, but. It's, uh, I can burn away the small outer box. It's, uh, seems like a show that kind of doesn't know what it wants to do. The wooden box burns away. There's something inside. That was a nice sound effect. You have the cosmetic key. Oh yeah, there was that cosmetic box that we couldn't open earlier. I started the second season of Nanan Nan Biori and then kind of, I got like two episodes in and uh, haven't gone back to it for a second. I'd find things to like about it, but it isn't worth actually playing. Okay, yeah, maybe I would watch just cutscenes of it. There's a lot of games in this world that I just, uh, you know, okay, I have the copper book. Why is it not working? There's a lot of games in this world that like are kind of interesting, <sighs> but then like, uh, I just don't want to play them myself. <laughs> Like, Siren might be one of them. As much as I love Siren to death, like, it's just like a, it's like a torture trial. Okay, I get it. There's many books with covers of sheet copper, but I have the copper book. Why can't I use it? Come on now. Oh, maybe I have to look at the scratches on the floor first. Okay, now she'll do it. That's kind of some weird point-and-click uh, nonsense there. It has some good Siskon Yuri. Ah, don't tempt me. <laughs> don't tempt me. Uh, use the dry path among the three. Let's save. 
Always happy when this theme comes in. Stunts, I always remember the time that you came to my apartment. It was like the first time I ever met you and you played you played Siren and you were like already in a bad mood. <laughs> and you played Siren at my apartment and I was like trying really hard not to backseat you. <laughs> uh, that was the fucking... That was the time. <laughs> Pick the sun path because that book said to take the dry path. I would imagine the sun path is that. Yeah, that was the same day that you bought me that that toes out uh, Toho poster, and then you carried it through the entire shopping mall without even a bag. <gasps> oh, did I just get killed by rats? The cursor looked like it was flashing, but I was too t busy talking about Toho feet. God damn it. Uh, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. Yeah, he is badass. He is very cool. He has no fear. That's probably a lie. <laughs> but he is very cool. We were just at this this anime store at the mall, and I just kept, I kept staring at this lenticular Toho poster that had, uh... Flan and Ramilia, and they were like, uh, it just seemed like it was weirdly focused on their feet, and I just kept staring at it, and then eventually, uh, they were just like, do you want that? And I was like, uh, I could never ask another human being, like, can I buy this? And then he bought it for me and carried it through the mall. Okay, so I guess we just get killed by rats no matter what, then. There's nothing we can do about getting killed by rats in that path. What is your one fear? It better be something really funny. Ah. What if Simpsons porn was illegal? Yeah, I'm pretty scared of that too. It's pitch dark, I can't see anything. You have a flashlight, fool. Okay, now she'll go down. If I could never see Mr. Burns and uh, Smithers going at it again, I would lose my mind. I like that The Simpsons is like pretty fertile ground for like Fujos. It's it's good, good business. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if more rats come out. <laughs> Are you serious? What am I supposed to do about all these rats? I like how they're just like like a little JPEG of a rat. Uh, <laughs> I really, uh, yeah, Royal Rat Authority. That was my favorite boss from Dark Souls 2. Basically just because of the name. It's gonna check if, uh, any of these paths <laughs> leads to, uh, anything but rats. <laughs> Do I have any items that would work against them? Maybe I have to go get something from the cosmetic key box first. Maybe I have to get some like perfume that like uh, wards the rats off or something. We're rats. We're rats. We're the rats. We pray at night. We stalk at night. We're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Now let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Yeah, at first, I actually, when I first found out about Giant Rat That Makes All The Rules, I, I didn't even know who Jerma was. It wasn't until like maybe like a year or two after that that I even watched any of his streams. That must be weird. I actually saw him. Twitch recommended me his stream the other day. He had a thousand people watching him. And I was like, that sounds horrible. If a thousand people came into my stream, I would drop dead. I don't know how he does it. He still like manages to sometimes like respond to people. I don't even know how. Uh, 
I made like a plank or something. <laughs> yes, that was Jerma. I was kind of surprised when I found out too. I thought it must have been like some kind of like like Tumblr weirdo or something. And there's just like endless, endless doors in this place. <laughs> I feel like I'm just walking through doors on doors on doors. Okay. Oh, sunlight. That's kind of nice. A little reprieve. From the uh, endless pursuit of scissormen. Corona got pissed at a guy who was criticizing her and she spent 20 minutes calling him out. That sounds cool. I kind of like it when when streamers get mad and go off on people. It's kind of fun. I mean, obviously, if you're on the receiving end of it, it's probably horrible, but... Huh. I wonder what the purpose of this is. I haven't really seen uh, much of Corona, except whenever I go to my friend's house, uh, she always forces me to watch Corona sing Small Soul Turtle House or something like that. Every time, literally every time I go to her apartment. She makes me watch that. Do people like relish getting like yelled at by VTubers? <laughs> yeah, a tiny, tiny turtle house. That's it. <laughs> it seemed cute. Uh, I haven't really watched any of her streams myself, but... Chemicals and laboratory equipment on the shelf. There is nothing useful here. Okay, great. What's that? A mini tape recorder is on the floor. Probably Nolan's. Yeah, I forgot that Nolan was even here. <laughs> I forgot that Nolan was even in the game. There's a cloth sack inside. What's this? It's really heavy. It's lead balls about the size. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got balls of lead, as the great Duke himself said. Great. <laughs> lead balls Mario. <laughs> Not that you know anything about that. Are you like a secret Corona fan? What am I supposed to do here? There's like a sarcophagus. Uh. I can't still go through the door. Oh, you're a secret getting scolded by YouTubers fan? Have you like gone out of your way to get scolded by people before? You're a freak. <laughs> I really hope this is not another dead end. All right. It seemed like Scissor Man came out like as soon as we uh, picked up lead balls. So <sighs> let's see what else we can do in this room before Scissor Man comes in to take away our lead balls. <gasps> Nolan. Nolan. What happened? Okay. You all right? <gasps> Damn. Somebody attacked me from behind. My head is still throbbing. Mm. Okay. Can I talk to him? More? What I really like how... Jennifer? Have you found her? No, not yet. No. Mm. That's okay. I'll help you look. We'll find her. Yeah, I like how uh, 
they like he said damn like audibly but they still censored it it's kind of a strange decision <laughs> but i like the cartoon style censorship <laughs> it's kind of cute in a in a weird way it's really heavy it's lead balls about the size of a baseball you now have the lead balls what am i even going to use that for kind of like have lost track of all the fucking stupid hijinks and like puzzle items around this place this game is uh i don't know it's not too hard to tell what to do but especially compared to like lucas arts games you guys ever tried to play like day of the tentacle or something like that it's not like it's like the hardest point and click of all time or anything but geez some pretty obtuse puzzles in those games Oh no. Well, welcome back. What were you gonna play? I saw on your channel that you had a- <laughs> how surreal. I saw on your channel that you had clips of you playing uh, Max Payne and uh, it looked interesting. I, I used to like that game when I was younger. Are you planning on playing- what? Are you planning on playing Max Payne 2 ever? Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about those games. Why can't I open this? It seems like an obvious way to defeat Scissor Man, but it won't let me open it. Ah! And, and Nolan is just sitting there. He just won't even help us. He just he just watched that happen. Fuck you, Nolan. How fucking dare you, Nolan? Yeah, it seems like Max Payne, Max Payne 1 has like a a little bit more, uh, I don't know how to say it, like, like tighter? I remember Max Payne 2 having like a bunch of like sniper missions or something. It was kind of annoying. I mostly played like Max Payne 2 mods back in the day. There was like some mod where you just like fight waves of dudes or whatever. Are you alright? Alright, goddamn. Somebody attacked me from behind. My head is still throbbing. <laughs> Sounds really uh, dirty when you say it like that, fella. Nolan, do you want your tape recorder, fella? What about Jennifer? Have you found her? No, not yet. <laughs> That's okay. I'll help you look. I thought maybe like Nolan being sitting up in his coffin we'll would like prevent Scissor Man from coming in here because it would just be too ridiculous if Scissor Man could kill you while Nolan was sitting up watching. But no, he just he just comes in and does it anyway. You know, fuck it. Who cares? All right, can I get the balls and get out of this room? All right, yeah. Let's let's like sprint for the door. You have the lead balls. I can't open the door though. Like the the prompt is like no longer there. Oh, there it is. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Mm. Uh, what can we even use that for? Have we seen anything that lead balls could be used for? <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. No, I'm gonna save because that was annoying. Getting out of that room was annoying. Okay. It's kind of hard for me to keep track of like the orientation of all these rooms because it's like rotating like 90 degrees every time. This is this just goes to uh, what does this go to? I can't remember where anything is now. Oh yeah, outside. So maybe you know I'm thinking we have that cosmetics key. Maybe if we go back there. Maybe the cosmetics box has like some perfume or something we can use to like ward off the rats. This is like a crazy like like a long shot like point and click kind of explanation, but hey, we also haven't checked this room yet, I don't think. Have we? <laughs> I'm kind of uh, struggling to remember where we are. Oh wait, that's right. 
Now I've already been out here. I don't think we went to this far left room though, over here. We need to find like a plank to get across that. Okay, well that settles that. Um, let's see. I feel like I need to be drawing a map, like I'm playing wizardry or something. No, we can't. We already settled uh, everything in here. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Okay, let's go back to uh, the fireplace room. I'd really like to just like get another ending, at least in this uh this sitting. Cosmetic key. No no no. We need fireplace key. There we go. Open that. Yep. Yep, okay, let's crawl through. This is where the cosmetics box was, right? Yeah, that's it. that's it right there. Okay, okay. Something about this room in particular makes me think of... What? This is a sketch of the mansion. Okay, passage is drawn under the fountain. You have the map. Okay, but that doesn't really help. And now we're stuck in here. Oh no, we can get back out. Something about this room in particular reminds me of like Parasite Eve. Religious robes are hanging on the rack. They're all covered with dust. Okay, so... Is this statue here as like a convenient way to get Scissorman to kill you so you can leave this room? Because <laughs> it won't let you go back. Uh, you know, I have one idea. Hold up. Kind of wondering maybe if we use the statue against Scissorman in this room. Maybe, maybe when they said. Be careful of the item that uh, Nolan gives you in the hints. Maybe they meant like uh, that it was the point of no return. Kind of wondering about that. So we already know that inside the cosmetic box is just a map. So not anything too. It's not like anything that will help us like progress. I feel like anybody. <laughs> Anybody could have uh, figured out that. What should I do? What? Okay, so. Uh... Jennifer, oh, why? All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and load. And then I think we need to go back and explore the castle a little bit more. <sighs> this is like a little tedious, but I mean, by point and click standards, it's not so bad, you know? What a nice design, yeah. I'm wondering, I don't know, why does it let us keep, for example, like the pliers and stuff? Hmm. And what could lead balls be used for? You don't think that we throw the lead ball at Scissor Man, do you? That would be just insane. Let's try it. Just for the hell of it. There's a surrounding fence. Okay, yeah. Hmm. 
That sound effect sounds like the same sound effect that, like, uh... When you use a lockpick in Morrowind, and it doesn't... it doesn't work. Yeah, point-and-click games are unfortunately a little... full of, like, uh, drudgery. Sounds like sad Chewbacca. What's up with your ears? What the hell are you talking about? It came open. A piece of paper is inside. This is a sketch of the mansion. Message is drawn under the fountain. You don't have the map. Listen again, you'll hear it. I don't know. There's like not enough like uh, breadth to that sound, in my opinion. I do not think it sounds like Chewbacca at all. There's a point and click game that I kind of want to play. I don't know. I don't know if directly after this or not, but uh, Okay. I don't know what to do there. It's like there's a uh... Jennifer. Oh, hmm. why? There must be a way to save her. Uh No, no, no. No, no. We're going to load I want to I want to save Jennifer. <sighs> even though like we didn't even I mean none of the characters have any characterization except for Harris. He's just like a weirdo and Tim, we just know that he's like the cool camera guy and Richard, of course. How could I forget dear Richard? <sighs> you know, this game really could have used more Richard, playable Richard. Richard is the main character. Richard is every character. Richard on ice. Alright, so, you know, we've already, this room is done for. We already searched that room. Featuring Richard from the Clock Tower series, yeah. Richard for Smash, please. <sighs> okay, this part of the game is becoming a bit of a drag. I was like psyched when we got to the castle, and it was fun for a bit. We got to throw a sheet on Scissor Man again. Who could ask for more? Okay, is there a cabinet that's not empty? Right, we just got these tables. There's like a teapot. Can we open that? There's something else there. Why even make it interactable then? That's really weird. Yes! We're gonna beat Scissor Man off with the fireplace poker. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, there were the rats. That one bug? Wait, are you talking about the, uh, the hand? We haven't checked on, on the hand in a minute. Let's see. Is there anything we can do to the hand? Or is it just there to kill you? I must save. <laughs> I thought it was a severed hand, but I mean, I guess we're about to look at it again. Uh, maybe we have to use the lead ball against the hand. I can see that working. Like, you throw the lead ball down and crush the hand like it's a bug. <gasps> right. <gasps> I think that a bug would make more sense than, like, a, an animated hand. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god! Okay, this is not going anywhere. Wait, it just killed me again. What could I possibly use against that hand? 
What the fuck? Uh, we're still missing hint 8 and 9. What the fuck? What do you do against hand? It's so unclear. This has just got a frock in it, right? What is a frock even? Something the pilgrims wear? Is there anything on the table I can use? Like after I throw the hand off? It's like a frilly dress? Okay. feeling that there must be something in that drawer, but I don't know. Ugh, what a drag. This sucks. I want to get another ending by the time I have to call it a night, but... If there's nothing, I would be really sad. I would be heartbroken. <sighs> I wonder where the water is draining from. There's like a valve handle, but I don't think we have anything we can actually turn the valve with, right? The valve is buried in the ground. It seems to be the valve to drain the fountain. Yeah. I don't imagine we can use the pliers on that, huh? God almighty. Uh Wait. Where's this? Have we ever been in here before? Feel so turned around. No, oh, we've been in here. God damn it. <laughs> Where are we supposed to go? The struggle. Just no, this just goes back to the courtyard. This is making me crazy. What am I supposed to do? What the fuck? No. No! Go away! You know, I'm getting a little sick of your antics, scissor man. I think you're so funny. Your big novelty scissors. Is there anything in the kitchen we can use on him? No. Oh, we can use the frying pan. Yes. Yes. It didn't even make like a cartoonish fucking clang noise. <laughs> I'm not satisfied. We haven't been back to the, this room in a minute. But there wasn't even anything down here. Wait, what's that? I don't know, that's not anything. God, don't get my hopes up, game. What is that emote? 
Is that like a bunny being like crushed under a hammer? Wine barrels. What am I supposed to do? This is starting to get a little frustrating. <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I can I can kind of parse it now. Where's that from? Will you please tell me how to kill the hand? <laughs> if you're saying it's dumb, that means it's probably really dumb. <laughs> I don't usually like to go to guides, but... This is a point-and-click game. I'll wuss out. For the sake of killing the hand. Uh. Okay, so this store goes to the garden. Grab the quill on the desk? Are you fucking serious? Where was that even? I can't even remember where the stupid hand was now. Grab the quill on the desk? Uh oh. I thought that was a different door. <laughs> I thought that I tried to, to touch the desk. Could have swore. Thank you, though. Thank you very much for telling me that. I'm sure that that'll lead to some, like, huge breakthrough. Or else, uh... Nothing at all. <laughs> but, you know, I'll, I'll feel good to have killed the hand. Alright. Okay, so all this time it's been square that you have to do? I don't really understand why it needs to be a different button from X when X does, like, everything else in the game. Seems kind of odd, but... I'm not the one designing the game. I'm not the big shot game developer. Alright, get off me. Die. Of the quill on the desk. Oh, it's just like two pixels. Do you see how small that is? <laughs> Thank you so much, Cerebro. <laughs> Oh my god. That is some clown shit. Yeah, I could barely even see that. It was like two tiny little pixels. A spell to exercise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. Quinton. Barrows. What? Exercise the devil children. That's it. What? <laughs> Everything seems normal. What? <laughs> A spell to exercise the devil children is hidden in the fireplace. We've seen a number of fireplaces in this place. We still haven't found anything to deal with the rats. Uh, I guess I gotta run around and find more fireplaces. Sure. Did we ever go in here? Looks like it was like barred earlier. Uh, it's in here again. No, 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 no. This room is bad news. Uh, I remember there's like the one fireplace that you go into that leads to that church where Jennifer keeps getting killed, you know? But the spell to exorcise the devil children? What are you talking about? What does that mean? No, this just leads to the fucking kitchen again. 
Dude, I feel like my brain is being flattened under a rolling pin right now. Kind of always feel like that, but, you know. There's like two rolling pins, or like my brain is being put through like a taffy puller. No, it's not in here. God damn it. We're gonna solve this though. We're gonna get the A ending. <laughs> Mickey's dick smasher? Please, no. What does Mickey have to do with this? Did we ever go in this? Uh, I'm sure we must have been in here at some point. No, this is the room with the chasm where we scissor man ran past us and fell into the chasm. What? What are you doing here? What the fuck? Beth, are you all right? <laughs> Helen, everyone's lost. I'm gonna lose my mind. Hang in there, Beth. I want to look around some more. Are we going to still wander around here? The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. I've got to find it. <laughs> like how Beth, weird. You should stay here. Every conversation in this game is. You've got to be joking. I'm not going to leave left alone again. I'm going with you. <laughs> Where are we going? Have I never seen Mickey's Dick Smasher? What is it? <laughs> is this something you made up and you're like acting like it's a thing? Okay, so this this lady was definitely not in here earlier. Beth, listen. Scissor Man does not care how many people there are. <laughs> we have a better chance of being rescued if we split up. No! <laughs> Oh my god. I've got to find a way to kill Scissor Man. Yeah. <laughs> Wait here. Scissor Man doesn't understand basic math. Yeah, that's why you can't stop him. He I doesn't realize you. that when there are more people in but a single you'll place, come back, won't you? that they're more likely to be able to, to I don't know, like push him over or like. Hit him with a fireplace poker. Yeah, she's... I want to believe that we can get her out of here, but she's just, like, sitting in this bottomless chasm room. I don't know. I don't have much hope for her. Oh my god. <laughs> what a fucking video game. <sighs> Alright. So we're just looking for any room with a fireplace in it? Is that what we're still doing? Uh... Okay, so we have the fireplace in this room that all that she said was... Santa might come out of it. Okay. So that's not where the whatever whatever that thing said about exercising the demon child or whatever. What was that even about? <laughs> no, no. No. We're not going back here again. We've seen three chimneys. I think two of them are on the second floor. So Inside the fireplace is something to exercise the demon child? Like, what the hell is that even supposed to mean? That's so vague. Demon child. And we don't have any, like, items that seem to... Like, I'm, I'm assuming the statue must be important for something, because they kept making a huge fucking deal about it. Everybody's like, oh, well... 
We need to make sure that you know. Remember the first the, the first ending that we got, ending E for Jennifer, was because we couldn't find the statue. So it must be important. But the question is like, how? You have got to be kidding me. Okay, it's too dark to see well. Why don't you use your flashlight, idiot? What am I supposed to do then? Have we seen a candle anywhere? Or any like batteries or anything? There's like a gem above the, the fireplace. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. This is a stone room with no windows. How, how are we seeing anything if there seem to be no electric lights and the flashlight batteries are dead? She can't look in the chimney because the flashlight batteries are dead. So we need to have another MacGuffin to run around and, and look for. Her. No. Uh-uh. No. No. We're not doing it, Cesarean. I'm sorry, but it's, I don't want to put up with your shit anymore. How can we even get rid of him? We still use this door, the door to nowhere. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this just works every time. This is the bathroom of the of the Barrow's castle. <laughs> Thank God. is a clown car. Alright, let's go back upstairs and resume the search for the batteries that we need so badly. There must be something in the rat passages, but how do we how do we escape the rats? We don't have like any items that seem to be like particularly strong against rats, you know, rat elemental. So what do we do? What did, what even was in this room? All right, so we had this chasm that we can't seem to cross. What is that like table right there? I don't I don't remember seeing that down there. <sighs> right, so nothing to be done there for now. what was in these rooms. Yeah, we were here. It will not open. Okay. There's like a ledge, but you can't go out there. This is making me feel like I'm like in incredibly stupid or something. <sighs> Do we ever go out here? <sighs> I 
It will not open. Okay. I'm really, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. Uh... I just, I really would like to get another ending tonight. Because it's really unsatisfying to only get ending E and uh, <laughs> and just be left in the lurch. <gasps> There's a candle? Are you fucking serious? But I can't use it? Uh, what a fake out. You can't do that to me. Come on, no. We need like a light source. Why not the candlestick then? Err. Unknown cryptic symbols on the surface. That's not it. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. Take the dry path. Take the dry path. I guess we might as well try the rat passages again. There's nothing else to do. What else could we possibly do? Like, Nope. Scissor man. You know, I've had it up to here with you. Just getting a little bit tired of it. Wait, the dry path. Huh? And I can't go into any of them. So, I mean, we're just gonna die. Ah! Oh, he's just standing right there. Oh, you left a fan art on Twitter for me. Thank you very much. Here, I'll go and look right now. <laughs> for a, a brief reprieve from... Oh no, I just knocked over a bunch of stuff on my desk. But that's the power of having a children's uh, sippy cup for your wine, is that you don't spill your wine everywhere when you knock things over like a fucking idiot. Oh my god, this is the greatest. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> Here, let me add it in. This is delightful, thank you so much. Hold on, add a new source instead. Add source. Uh, here. Thank you so- oh, why won't it stop? It's like stuck to my cursor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> this gives me courage. Thank you. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, with this, <laughs> we can do anything. <laughs> oh, <sighs> alright. I'm just gonna leave this up on screen for a minute while I just try to figure out a, a clue. I hate to turn to game FAQs, but I feel like, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I have to turn to game FAQs at this point. Cause I'm getting I'm getting to the point where it's like uh I just can't believe 
that I, I can't figure it out on my own. Uh, all right, stuff you need to find. Yes, the stream has been going on for six hours. I won't always stream for this long. Um, but it's, you know, it's a special occasion. And I want to get more done. My back is starting to kind of hurt, though, from sitting up really close to the microphone. I just uh, have been kind of sitting here imagining how nice it would feel for, like, a small horse to be doing, like, a like horse dressage on my back because so that would feel like really good right about now <laughs> the best debut stream of all time god thank you <laughs> that's pretty high praise i don't know about that but i'm trying well it's been really nice to have everybody here it's been really pleasant um <laughs> so thank thank you Uh, this is the fine scissor man. This is not a guide though. This is just the. This is very vague. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep uh keep trying. I want to at least finish this scenario. All I want is like a one one little nugget of information to to uh get through. All right, well, this this guide is saying that Tim is in the wine cellar. No, he wasn't. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now is the Helen Scenario 3 walkthrough. This is nonsense. Okay. You have to be fucking kidding me. Alright, I know where to get batteries for the fucking flashlight now. Alright. This is stupid. It's from that tape recorder that was on the floor in the room with the sarcophagus, remember? We went in there and Nolan was in his sarcophagus and he- Oh. Alright. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Remember? We opened the sarcophagus and Nolan sat up and he just looked at us as Scissor Man killed us. He didn't even like move an inch. We're gonna load. Fuck Nolan, honestly. Fuck that guy. He got Rick killed in the other timeline. Rick is fine right now, but you know, he's he's at fault for Rick's death, I think. Oh wait, I gotta close the uh the image, right? I gotta get used to this stuff. Uh where are we? Just take a moment to appreciate Helen's face right now. So cryptic. She looks like, uh, I don't even know, like the old Mac OS face. Okay, wait, I know, I know, uh, where to go, actually, I think. Most of this game has not been too bad, but it's been kind of ridiculous. Ever since we uh, got to this part of the game. Uh, that one's locked. This is the door. I think this leads to... There's like a hallway, and then there's a door at the end of the hallway, and then we go through it, and there's stairs that go down. And then at the bottom of those stairs, at the back of the hallway, is the room where Nolan was sitting in his sarcophagus. When Nolan wouldn't help us, Nolan just sat there, dumbfounded. This is commentary on the state of the media. He just he's just an onlooker. He won't do anything to to change the situation. It's just an article to him. He knows the scissor man's not after him. You know? Because scissor man just put him in a sarcophagus. Okay. Now we can take it. Fuck you. What an what an evil game. <laughs> 
Okay, you now have quote unquote batteries. Oh good, they'll fit in the flashlight. Yeah, all right, let's get on with the show. Thank God. <laughs> uh. Let's go back upstairs. We're gonna get through this. The Odyssey is over, yeah. I always associate the Odyssey with the Simpsons. Isn't there like an episode where they do the obvious joke of like, Homer is on the Odyssey? I don't know. Seems like something they have to have done. Probably like twice by now. That feels like that's like a, a mid-teens uh, Simpsons season episode. Or is it? You can very clearly recall it. Yeah, I can remember, didn't Homer, like, everybody got turned into animals and then he, like, ate them or something? Because, you know, Homer, he is always eating things because he's Homer. It's actually pretty old. Yeah, it feels like, actually, you know, for, for the obvious uh, combination of Homer's The Odyssey and Homer The Simpsons, it seems like it would have to have come pretty early on in the series. All right. Uh, that's from 2002. That's pretty bad. That's like when the series was really starting to go sour. Okay, there's a note stuck inside. It's in Latin. Words to open door. Naha ish. What in the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what in the fuck? What? <laughs> uh, to exercise Scissor Man. Oh, you now have Door Spell. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Latin. I've seen Latin before. Oh my goodness. Use to exercise Scissor Man. That's so vague. Um, <laughs> oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Doorspell sends Scissor Man home. If only. Sorry, I'm checking the guide cuz I'm just I'm just too stupid. <clears throat> okay, this is like the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. All right, I know what to do. Jeez, Cerebro, you really were not kidding. <laughs> I guess... I guess, like... If you... If you went about your normal life for, like, a week, just, like, thinking about this game, and, like, being like, oh, I wonder how I could possibly solve this. Like, you might eventually come to this conclusion, but, like, still... <laughs> it's kind of uh, making me mad right now. Because, all right, it says the dry path. You have to take the dry path, right? You would think it would be like, like, why even put symbols above the, the holes? I feel like this is misleading. No, you were supposed to drop a lead ball. You drop the lead ball down the shaft. That's the dry path, okay? So, 
whichever one doesn't make a water splashing sound, that's the one that you're supposed to go down, apparently. It has nothing to do with these misleading symbols. <sighs> I feel duped. I feel like I've been had. Okay. This time... This time, we'll be safe from rats because we dropped a lead ball down the hole. That's how it works, you know. Oy. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? And it's also misdirection because if you try the paths just like haphazardly, rats kill you every time. The path always narrows and then rats kill you. What about dropping- oh my god. There are bones scattered all over the floor. These look like children's bones. <laughs> okay. You hear that sound? Yo, teach. <laughs> Pretty casual oh, about this. You're alive. Hey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure what rats have to do with uh where is everyone <laughs> aren't they with you no scissor man attacked us and we all scattered oh i see what do we do now teach we've got to keep looking He sounds like he's there probably the. There has to be a way to kill Scissorman here somewhere. He sounds like he's the one who voiced the, uh, who will make it through this game of murder alive in the intro. That's why he's trying so hard to get in our way. Yeah, then take this with you. What? It might be useful. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? A pistol? What about you? It's okay. I've got another. You just carry two guns on you? Can you use it? Yeah. Yes. I've had some training. That means you're an amateur. <laughs> <sighs> okay. But anyway... This will be real practice. Whoops, sorry. Yep. Got. Uh oh. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Ghost children. No horror game would be complete that? without them. Just what you thought you saw. Ghosts. So casual. Probably the ghosts of all the kids killed here. <laughs> How terrible. After Scissor Man, I ain't scared of no ghosts. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, Gots is okay. <laughs> He's alright. Can we talk to him anymore? Alright, good. I don't know what was with all those long pauses in his dialogue. It was kind of odd. I think I've only seen the Ghostbusters, like, one time. I don't know if I've ever seen the second one. Or the- th I've never seen the third one. I don't know. Just never had that much interest in the Ghostbusters. It's kind of, uh, I hate the ghosts. Like, I hate Slimer. He disgusts me. Like, to my core. I don't, I don't want to see Slimer. Uh, what am I doing now? Hold up. Um...
Something in my room is making a weird sound. Hmm. There's like a really weird sound happening right now. Give me just a second. It's freaking me out. Okay, I have no idea what that was, but it stopped, so we're all good. Now, alright, so the guide that I looked at, it said that Tim, our best friend, you know, well, second to Richard, with the backwards cap, kind of like Fred Durst, he was in the cellar, the wine cellar next to the kitchen, but he wasn't in there. I don't know what you gotta click on to, to summon him out. But, uh, is it in here? I really struggle to remember the layout of this place because of the way that, uh, it seems like, you know, the orientation of everything rotates every time you enter a room by, like, 90 degrees. It's kind of hard to, like, build a mental map of, like, how everything is laid out. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if Tim is just gonna like magically appear down here. So we have been down here a number of times. Shelf is covered with cobwebs. Yep. She just always goes around the front of this. Like, is there some other. Something smells sour, but how do I. Like, there was one time that we went behind there and we saw Scissor Man. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, thank you for coming, Aki. It was nice to talk to you some. I hope you have a good evening, or whatever time it is there. Thank you, you too. To figure out where the fuck Tim is. Where is he? Okay, so apparently he is considered dead because I didn't go up the ladder again after I came down here the first time. That is like completely insane, like pedantic bullshit from this game. Alright, well, maybe we'll just get the B ending. If worse comes to worse, like I'll... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. It would really stink to get all the way to the end of this game and like... Tim dies? He was like one of the best characters. Tim. <sighs> Alright. Uh let's see. Oh no, I went through this door again. God damn it! <laughs> Uh. Well, at least it's, like, not a problem. You know, you would think by now... Oh, no.
You'd think by now, like, Helen would just, like, refuse to open the door at all. Okay, well, it's not a problem anymore. <laughs> well, apparently we're, like, close to death. But, I mean, it's, like, it doesn't, like, it matters, because that's the only place that we ever go to avoid Scissor Man. It's not like it... It's not like with Nolan, where, uh... You know... Punching him? Remember when we punched Scissor Man? Knocked him cold out? With one punch? Like, that took off, uh, like a unit of Nolan's stamina, I guess you could call it. But it's not like Helen can even do that. She's, like, just cannot punch Scissor Man. It's just not possible. Okay. Please, for the love of God. If we just get an ending, I'll I'll be satisfied for today. Alright, no. Nope. Ah, uh, okay. I think for tomorrow I'll probably play Jennifer's scenario and try to get that done. Falling in there would give me the creeps, yep. Let's go. So I'm pretty sure that now what we do is we go in and we shoot Scissor Man with a fucking gun. So let's get the gun ready. Wonder where I am. Why did the gun disappear? Why, why did that happen? You've dropped the pistol? The pistol's gone! Why? <laughs> why did that happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> you must be kidding. Uh... Okay... This is stupid. Alright, I like this game a lot. This game has a lot of heart, but I'm getting mad. This is some clown shit. Maybe I'm just impatient. I always feel this way. I guess this one is not that far-fetched, but like... Yeah, I'm getting a little sick of the castle, honestly. I think that uh, the library was fine. I think Richard's house was by far the best environment. It had Tom and Jerry, had the umbrella that we could bop Scissor Man with. It had, uh... <laughs> had throwing laundry soap in the dog's eyes. All right, let's pop it off there. Okay, great. The padlock came undone. I'm ready to kill Scissor Man. Okay, with this gun. <gasps> oh, what should I do? Yes! Fucking Hawkeye. Where's the Hawkeye here? Cool. Did it hit him? <laughs> yes. That feels pretty good. Thank God. Thank heaven you're still alive. Oh my lord. <laughs> It's okay now. <gasps> I've got Scissor Man cornered. You do? Are you sure about that? Right here. Alright. Cornered? I don't know. I cannot believe that there is an event to make you drop the pistol if you go through that that crawl space. 
that is absolute like just nonsense like are you fucking joking <laughs> how do you guys have so many icons of guns <gasps> whoa It was you! Professor Barton. Why? How could you? Like, Helm, Zoink Scoob? I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. <laughs> That's not what that says, but okay. When you are researching criminal behavior. Are you sure? Looks like you're just making excuses, fella. <laughs> Caught murdering guy's disease? Yeah. Happens to all Always psychiatrists. That danger. <laughs> this is like House of the Dead 2 dialogue. What are you saying? Yeah, what are you saying? It, it, it's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> that I was... Drawn in by his evil soul. <laughs> Helen, do you believe that you really have the strength to keep it from happening to you? Sure. <laughs> Come on. Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be <laughs> involved? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Maybe you too are attracted by the vast darkness. I... I'm not like you. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> okay, sure. So that's the purpose of that room. That's why when we went in there before, nothing was in there, right? All right, Teach. She's okay. And the case is solved. <laughs> no, it's not. It is not over yet. Yeah. Helen? The professor said he was drawn in by his evil soul. His. <laughs> in other words, the real Scissor Man is still alive. I need to get rid of this gun icon. It's not over until he is dead. Gots, please stay with Jennifer. <laughs> what about you? I'm going to take another look around. I'm going to find the real Scissor Man. <laughs> okay. I see. Be careful. Helen. I'll be all right. The way he says it all, it's like he's reading the script but can't even recognize the words. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly the vibe. Like, a lot of the actors, it's like this is the first time they've ever seen, like, the script in their life. And, like, somebody also just woke them up, like, you know, from, like, REM sleep or something. So, what, what, what could we possibly even do now? We can go back in the church and get the map. But will that really help? Like, it's... Is that, like, what the thing that we need to make her recognize that we need to use the valve at the fountain? <laughs> this is, like, the only thing I could think of.
There's also this room. Oh, I... But there wasn't ever anything in here. It was just this stack of books. So, what's the point? <sighs> right. I feel like I have a fever. Not literally, but right. we still haven't used this. Cosmetic key. It came open. Great. A piece of paper is inside. This is a sketch of the mansion. It's a castle, not a mansion. You now have the quote unquote map. Alright. Now we never was we were never able to do anything with this. Okay, so Scissor Man is still still around. Alright, he's just gonna kill us. Alright. Should've known. So we just need to go in there and get uh, the map and then get out. It's probably just we're just probably gonna be stuck. I gotta load probably. Oh no! Do we have the map? Oh. Thank. That's pretty merciful. I don't know why specifically just touching that statue, like, causes that. Yes, it is a sketch of the mansion. Do we need to use the this door spell on this statue or something? You know, let's... No, I don't even want to bother with the possibility of getting that death animation again. Let's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> let's go to the fountain. Let's get done with this. Okay, we're so close. Uh, yeah, fountains this way. We think she like skids to a halt before turning. It's pretty good. I have to say, the character animations are not too bad in this game. I don't know when I don't know when this came out, but I think 97 or something. I think it looks pretty okay for what it's going for. Alright. The environments are certainly nice too. They're kind of Spartan, but I think it works. It makes it feel appropriately empty for everything to have that. PlayStation 1 reverb on it. Alright. Oh, thank you. Seems strange that you have to have the map to do this, but... I don't know. It's an adventure game. What are you gonna do? Okay, let's go in. Um, I felt like uh, we were gonna get some planks to like go over that gap that was like just about the fountain. Remember that? <laughs> Finally, making some progress. Progress. And we're just gonna hit the bottom and get swarmed by rats again. Who's that? That voice. Is it... I didn't think you'd get this far, Helen. Whoa. Edward? That is Edward's voice? You You're the murderer? Oh my god. Let's play, Helen. Yeah. Let's record a let's play, Helen. Uh It's a cool background. 
Huh? Hole about 30 centimeters wide? What am I doing? Oh, oh, oh! Supposed to be doing something? Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of vague for a second. <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it was kind of confusing as to what was happening because Gots looked like he was struggling against being sucked towards the door he came out of originally. It was kind of weird. No reason to get upset, is there, Teach? <laughs> I don't think we can make it. I am certain Jennifer is still alive. She is! You saw her! Hey! Someone's there! Jennifer? <gasps> Yay! Jennifer, you're alive! Helen! Look at that JPEG artifacting. <laughs> Goth's just kind of looking at them in the background. Wow. Now they're gonna run away and get married together. That's the ending? <laughs> Seriously? Well, I guess the little final confrontation was cool. Where Scissor Man was getting sucked into the door. That was wicked. Um, so, I don't know. There's some pretty annoying stuff in this game, but I think that overall, uh, it has a lot of... I don't know. The spirit of fun having. And you don't really see too many games that are basically like just a playable slasher movie. Yeah, it's got a lot of heart. It's doing something that very few games uh, ever try to do. <laughs> so, I liked it a lot. Yeah, in spite of the bad puzzles, like, there's a lot of good, like, point-and-click games that have terrible puzzles, too. It's just kind of, like, part and parcel of the genre. <sighs> well... I guess there's still Jennifer's scenario, but I don't know. This is really good. I would give it... Hmm. Uh, I guess I can't really rate it until I've played Jennifer's scenario through to the end. Assuming that I got an A rank, or ending A. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll go for Jennifer's, like, ending A. And then I guess the rest of the endings, uh... If you're really curious, you can look at them on YouTube. Because, I don't... This game is a little too tedious, and the save slots are too few to really make it easy to go through and get every ending. The music is amazing, also. I don't think there's a single track in this game that didn't fucking completely explode my fucking brain. <sighs> yeah... It's just, the main problem is, it wouldn't be quite as bad if it wasn't just the dialogue takes forever and you can't advance through it, like, faster than, you know, the game has already dictated, you know, that you can.
I thought the voice acting was very funny too. Like whenever it came up, I don't know, it kind of added to the, uh, I don't know, the B movie atmosphere. Oh yeah, remember when Scissor Man was pretending to be a statue? That was obviously Scissor Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, the castle was definitely the worst part. The confusing layout and those couple of uh, actions that the game expected you to take that were just kind of like, what? How was anyone ever like expected to figure this out? Uh, like some people were saying, I'm sure there would be like a tip line inside of the the jewel case for the PlayStation game. Yes! Bring the, the acid base back. Fucking TB303. Here we go. I always try to use like VSTs of like this particular base synth, but I can never get them to work right. And there's that cool synth that makes me think of Unreal again. I'd like to play Unreal at some point. That's a cool game. <laughs> yeah, it seems like if you want a good sounding 303, you gotta get like a hardware like, thing. And I'm not really into like hardware synths or anything like that. Is name really the kanji for like one, two, three? I wonder if that's like a pen name or something. I wonder if that's like a common name or something. I'm not too familiar with like Japanese names, so I probably shouldn't. Okay, ending rank A, Survivor 6. We lost Tim. God bless his soul, but we could not save Tim because he was, uh, his. His fate was locked behind a really obscure condition that didn't make any sense. Okay. Whew. Great. Did we get we didn't get any more hints. I wonder if those are locked in uh, Jennifer's story or something. Is this gonna I don't know, we already saw this. We don't need to see that again. Yeah, bummer for Tim. Yeah, I feel like, have you ever seen, uh, what is it called? It's like Wak, Wak, Waka Kozake or something? It's like that anime about the, it's like a really short, I think it's like an ONA about this business lady who goes and eats fancy food after work and she always drinks a beer and goes, Pshew! Yeah, that's how I feel after playing this game. It's like a obscure delicacy. I've only watched uh, like one or two episodes of the anime. I tried to watch, they made a TV drama of it and I tried to watch some of it, but it was kind of like, they're stretching like a, like a three or four minute anime to like a 20 minute TV drama. And it was just kind of like a bit much, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes, we did it gamers. Well, thanks for the support through this, uh, I don't know. Interesting, interesting experience. <laughs> I liked it a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing Jennifer's ending A. I can't imagine it's going to be like super different, but 
I don't know. I hope we get to go to Richard's house again. Is there anything else we can even do? Pamphlet? No, we already saw that. But what is this? Oh. Hey, I think this is probably the story for Clock Tower the first. Uh, if you're worried about spoiling that game. Okay, you know. I should have been just reading this. In, in 1986, the mistress of the Barrows Mansion gave birth to twins. From that day, they were born. Oh, however, it was obvious the twins were not normal and were evil. The twins were given the names Bobby and Dan, who were later to become the murderous scissor men. In 1995, a young girl from the Granite Orphanage, whose parents died when she was quite small, was lured into the Barrows Mansion, where she was attacked by a monster wearing a giant pair of scissors. That monster was the grown-up Bobby. She managed to escape from the terrible horrors, destroy the monster, and flee the mansion. For the next year, all of Norway was caught up with the sensationalized Scissorman murderer. Although, Jennifer thought he was dead, Scissorman has reappeared. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hello. Tell us the premises and... And thank you. Uh, this is a fun debut. I was nervous all week, but I mean, this is pretty, pretty easy peasy. Went pretty smoothly, and I had a lot of fun. I was glad. Had a lot of nice people in the chat. It's a great atmosphere. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough. <laughs> well, I look forward to playing many more fun games in the future. I've got so many, so many lined up. Ah, Hardneck Slave. You were here all along? <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I know a lot of people do uh, just lurk. I myself mostly lurk or watch VODs with streams, so... Yeah, I, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking I might clip the intro either from... from the stream, or I'll try to- I'll try to get it to fit on, uh, Twitter, maybe. I feel like maybe Twitter or maybe uh, YouTube would be uh, a better option for it. I definitely, I have to do something else with that intro. I think I might use it for bumpers as well. Um, I love this game. Yeah, I had a really fun time playing it. Unfortunately, you're here right at the very tail end of the stream. I just finished uh, Helen's... Uh, ending A. It was very fun. It was- some of the puzzles were kind of annoying, but I do like the game a lot. For some reason, whenever you see a horror story, you think, why don't Star Wars characters show up and save everyone? Because they're all dead! That- that all took place a long time ago. Don't you know the lore? I don't even like Star Wars, and I know that. Come on now. Well. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well. Is there anything else you guys feel like talking about? Do you have any cool plans for the rest of the night? I don't even know what time it is. I, I, I forget that there's people all around the world in all kinds of different crazy time zones. So I'm probably going to go eat some leftover pizza and finish this bottle of wine. I drank uh, like three quarters of the bottle of wine during that stream. It's pretty good. I gotta say, when you drink wine out of like a like a sippy cup, it just tastes like juice. So I just kind of I was maybe going a little too hard at the beginning of the stream. You wanna stream more, but you can't think of anything to stream? I don't know, what kind of games do you like? Yeah, drink water. I've I've drank about two glasses of water during this time. Probably not enough, but I'll make sure to I'll make sure to drink some water too. Ah, I just drank some water right now. <sighs> 
Do you like boomer shooters at all, Cerebro? They seem like kind of a... I don't know, pretty natural kin to like Max Payne and stuff like that. I want to play Quake at some point, but I want to learn how to bunny hop before I do. Or else it, I feel like it's just going to be too boring. Because... Yeah. <laughs> They're really fun. I want to I wanna play plenty of them. I was going to play Daikatana for my debut, but... I felt like playing a game that might actually have some like redeeming value might be a, make a better impression. So I went with this. Daikatana. I don't even know if Daikatana qualifies as a boomer shooter. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. And like, uh... I don't know, my brain is going blank. <laughs> brain boiled by seven hours of Clock Tower, the game. It wasn't even that long. It was maybe like six and a half hours. Yeah, it's, uh... It's uh, gotta be difficult to finish Daikatana. I was like, when I was testing it out to see like, okay, like, can I even stream this like in a window and stuff? It was like, I could tell, I could tell it was gonna be a hell of a time. <laughs> I do have the patch for Daikatana. I'll, I'll probably play it eventually, but man, I don't know. I've heard a lot of like, nasty things mainly about the Daikatana AI like the characters just like get themselves killed and I think that they're I don't know I might be wrong but it seems like they're like mission critical and like if they die the game is over <laughs> so you just have to basically babysit them it sounds like hell is unplayable that's really that's great that's just wonderful <laughs> Uh, thanks John Romero, your beautiful vision brought to life in stunning 3D. <sighs> yeah, the first time I tried to play Daikatana, I got uh, a little ways into the first level. Yeah, it seems like it seems like it could make for a fun speedrun game. There are a lot of games that work as speedruns that I like would not play myself. Like, I don't know. I like Morrowind, you know? Morrowind is a cool game, I respect it a lot. I just can't really play it myself, but the speedruns of it are absolutely mind-bending. They're so cool. That weird shit that they do where they like uh Something about, like, you pull back your weapon and then switch to a lockpick with the mouse wheel, and then it's, like, insta-jibs anything in the game. Then you'd need to waste enough of your life to learn how to speedrun Daikatana. I mean, there's people who speedrun, like, Ed, Ed, and Eddie games for the GameCube, you know. I think... I don't know. <laughs> people speedrun anything. You want to check out Sigil? Yeah, the recent Doom mod. I th I've I've been wanting to check it out. I have the Switch uh, Doom port. That uh, I don't know. Playing it as a nice cozy way. I don't know. It feels weirdly formal to play a game as like kind of arcadey as Doom at the computer. Most of the time, like if I'm by myself. So I don't know. And they have that. They have Sigil included on uh, the Switch. The Switch and uh, I, I guess it's on every platform pretty much because they just ported it to Unity, but. I don't know, seems interesting. Some cool cool design to it. Seems kinda hard. Yeah, Morrowind is really cool. I was playing it and I was enjoying it a lot. It's just uh really easy to get like completely lost. But I kinda like that. I kinda like that Morrowind, like I remember I was doing a quest uh like two quests for Morrowind, and they were both telling me to go to the same place, but each person that gave me the quest gave me contradictory directions. I think that's kind of fun. That's like something that would happen in real life. <laughs> People giving you bad directions. I think that's fun. <laughs> Seems like Doom speedrunning could be cool. Gotta be some interesting ways to use, uh, you know, rocket jumps and that. Blast off of walls and stuff. 
I don't know. Probably got to be some weird stuff going on in there. Yeah, I have to say, uh, I don't really like it when games have like markers too much. Like a vague marker is okay, but I don't. I'm not a big fan of like a Bethesda game. Bethesda style RPGs because it ends up being just you know and this is my problem with a lot of open world games this is why I put that I don't like open world games on my little my introduction sheet is because it ends up being a uh, just a game of running between all the points of interest on the compass and it's just like I don't know it just feels a little depressing yeah the one of the best fun most fun parts about playing Doom is that it's uh, a lot of it is about learning the AI and learning how to like anticipate the AI and like uh you know twist it to your ends to make your to make your purposes work out. I don't know. I love Doom a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I'd play Doom 2 on stream, but I don't know. I might blaze through like a you know ultimate doom or something. Yeah, I don't know. Open world games uh <laughs> Maybe some of them are good. Like, I I liked Yakuza Kiwami. I guess that's technically an open world game, but like, I don't know. A lot of them, I finished them and I feel very depressed. <laughs> just like, why did I do that? <laughs> so at this point, I just kind of, for, for the sake of my health, just like, yeah. Yeah, Yakuza does have a good story. That is a good point. That does that does kind of like salvage the experience. And that's a good point. Like when I when I think back, I remember when Vice City came out, it was like mind blowing. It was like the most amazing shit ever. I remember coming home from like middle school and playing Vice City like every day with my friends and stuff. And San Andreas when it came out, I got to uh there was a part where you go to like the the rural area. Like the Orange County kind of area, and you're forced to do like a race, like, and I was just like, man, this sucks, and I just like didn't finish the game. Just I don't know, felt kind of depressing. I was never never able to get into San Andreas too much. Seems like it added too much like busy work and you know like stuff like grinding up your your skills and like your your weapon skills and all that stuff. I don't know. I feel like Vice City hit like a a nice happy medium between like the the bloat of like San Andreas and the like weird kind of like Spartan arcade feel of like GTA 3. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that like it feels almost like every game feels the need to be an open world game now. And it's like you don't have to do that. <laughs> you could just like make a nice like tightly designed game and like you know, that doesn't last like 80 hours. I don't know. The people, like, games are expensive. Yeah, actually, Gravity Rush is good. Gravity Rush is a good example of uh, a nice open world game. I did like Nier, uh, I like Nier Automata a lot too. There's always like good examples that make me reconsider uh, this kind of stance on things. <laughs> Nier's open world in the same way that Ocarina of Time was open world. What do you mean by that? Like I, I don't, I don't know exactly what you mean. Yeah, there's not. Like you can swim underwater in GTA Five, but again, it's like it's not very interesting. Like I think driving the boats in like Vice City is probably more interesting than being able to swim, in uh. San Andreas. Eh. <laughs> eh. There's some people out there who swear by it though, so I don't wanna I don't wanna trash it too hard, because I know a lot of people do love it, but eh. It's it's maybe just not for me. At this point in my life, like the main uh enjoyment I get out of GTA is like I I played GTA online and I just bought every dirt bike in the game and would just drive them up as many hills and mountains as I could because the dirt bike physics are fucked up in GTA 5 and just like do little tricks like ride uh ride the dirt bikes up railings and stuff like that there's a lot of stuff you can do with that it's fun 
<laughs> you mean the pathing is pretty clear and it's more about going from dungeon to dungeon with an overworld? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. There's not really... Yeah, it's... The overworld, there's not really too much to find. And a lot of it is kind of just like, uh... Exploring for exploration's sake most of the time. If you want to just like look around. But, uh... Yeah. I like Nier Automata pretty good. I still gotta get back to first Nier. It was, uh... After how, uh... Kind of like flashy and... How many concessions Nier Automata made to the player. I kind of had a little harder time getting into Nier. Because it was very stiff by comparison. But it was really cool from what I saw. It seems like a lot of people do prefer the first Nier. Seems like uh, it has more of what people seem to like Yoko Taro for, maybe. Mainly I just remember getting killed by that pig. I'm pretty sure a lot of people who play Nier had that experience. It's like that big ass like pig or something that kills you. Yeah, I think that maybe I didn't get uh, far enough into it for the story to really like, you know, really get its hooks in me. Like, stuff was starting to happen, but I wasn't quite snagged yet, you know? <sighs> Your favorite part of Nier is that attacks come out faster when you're midair, so you were constantly hopping in place doing strong attacks. That sounds like uh, the kind of jank you can expect out of a game like that. I don't know if you could call that jank, but kind of cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you... I don't know what your PC setup is like, but PS2 emulation is like, really come a long way now. Uh, most games can be run on PS2 without too many problems. Or PS2 emulation. Like... They can be kind of weird, though. Like when I was playing Kingsfield 4, which I've played through to the end on my PS2, but when I played it on an, emu on an emulator, there was like a point where just, uh, it was like the, the triggers to load the next area just like stopped and it just like made a black void. And I was like, oh, <laughs> guess I just can't keep playing this game. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Something about playing something like a PS2 game is like on a PC. Like, I don't know. I always feel like playing games at a desk is like so formal. It just doesn't feel chill. Like I played Yakuza Kiwami sitting on my couch, like on my PS4. And then I was, I went to play Yakuza 2 on the PS2 emulator. And it's like... The game is pretty chill. It's like a couch game. You're supposed to be sitting on the couch when you play Yakuza. It feels weird sitting at my desk. It feels like I'm doing business. I don't know. How did you like Haunting Ground? I've always just... Heard a lot of people like it. But I mostly just heard like, oh, it was controversial when it came out. Like I remember seeing it in like gaming magazines or something. Like at the time, we're seeing online articles about that and like Rule of Rose being like, Oh, these like controversial PS2 games. I still just like don't even know, like why <laughs> people are just so vague. <sighs> I'm interested in Rule of Rose since hearing that the, I think the guy who directed Moon made uh the scenario for it. I'm still kind of unsure what scenario really means as like a staff position.
You need to invest in a good desk and a bed frame and wall mount for a second monitor. Yeah. That would help. My desk is like, I don't know, could be bigger. It's, it's decent enough. Oh, do you need to like lay in bed to be able to play PC games? It's no fun to have back problems. It seems like this inevitable the older you get. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I understand now. Like, uh, what do they call those? Isn't there like a specific brand name for like reclining beds? I mean, there must be more types of bed frames that recline other than uh other than just like a specific brand but I think that if I if I ever end up getting a capture card I don't know can you really even play those without like a a monitor that you uh Like plug it into? Because isn't there like a lot of delay on like capture? I don't know. My current computer monitor is like 11 years old. No, 12 years old actually of this year, as of this year. So, I don't know. I kind of wouldn't mind having a new monitor, but this one also just like works fine. So I just keep using it. It has kind of bad colors. I'm a little scared to see what the intro animation looks like when I view it on my phone later. Like if I post it on Twitter. Because everything I do on my PC, on my monitor, it's like the colors always look so much darker when I look at them on my phone. This monitor is just like super washed out, but I don't know. It's functional. Who cares? Uh, well, at this point, I don't know. I think I need to go and... Uh, Probably get something to eat and feed my pet rabbit because she probably wants her pellets about now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ate a cliff bar while I was playing this, but I could use some more nourishment. I will pet you for you, or I will pet her for you. <laughs> She is insatiable when it comes to petting, so I'm sure they'll have no trouble with that. She's probably like mad that I've been in my room all day, so I usually spend as much time in the living room as possible. Well, anyway, um, yeah, thanks again everyone who showed up. It was a really wonderful time, and I can't wait to stream more and more and more and more forever and ever and ever. And ever, and ever, and ever. Yeah, so, I don't know. If you can handle two days in a row of Clock Tower, yeah. As I already said, like, probably a bazillion times, I'll probably uh, play Jennifer, Jennifer's Root tomorrow and try to get the A ending. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Solid Snake 9909 you did just miss everything. We've just been sitting here talking for like 30 minutes and I'm about to log off, but uh, if you want to see a playthrough of the game, I did get uh, one one character's A ending, if you want to watch the VOD later or something. <sighs> but, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> Thanks for a wonderful, wonderful day, and I hope to see you all again later. Yeah, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful evening or day or whatever. Take care of yourselves and, you know, chill out if you've got the time to. Otsugraph? What is that? You want me to give you an autograph?
Oh. See you later.